Dude, thank you so much for gifting that tier one to Havka. Thank you, dude. I appreciate that. Man, we're starting off 2020 strong. Everybody's got their wallets out. Put those away, right? Keep those wallets for yourself. Buy yourself a chup a chup or something, right? Can we take a nap right in front of this demon? That's how we're starting off the year. Look at him looking on hungry. Wants to eat Deacon for breakfast. Everyone get a second mortgage for Hess. That's right. A chapa what? A chapa chup. Um. Okay. So, listen. Very, very important information. Let's get outside. Uh, I need to update you guys on something. Take a look at those stats right there. Ladies and gentlemen. We have our belt of storm giant strength. Storm giant strength. Okay. Welcome, friend. Kane kill 416. Thank you for the follow, man. Thank you, dude. Hey, how come I'm not selling anything to this guy? Yeah, we got our belt of storm giant strength. Bonus strength 10. Okay, also... Uh, fire, bone, spell. Okay, I'm going elemental resistance here. Actually, let me, let me sell some stuff. Um. That demon got an inventory of real insane stuff and the gin as well. The way power was scaled in this DLC was insane. It's crazy. It is absolutely insane, dude. Boots of striding plus seven. Wait, that's better than mine, dude. <gasps> Another constitution up. I mean, look at these helms, dude. The crown of thorns. This thing is insane. It's got five soaked ten. Divine resist, negative energy resist, positive energy resist, sonic resist, skill modifier move silently, negative six regen, five wounding whispers once a day. Right? This thing is ridiculous. The tower shield plus five, large shield plus six, half plate plus five. Belt of agility plus ten. Let me just point your eyes. Avert your eyes, though. For one second. Look at this. Let's just walk over here for a, for a second. Look at this price right here. Look at the price of these items. Just walk back for a second. <sighs> Black Friday price, dude. Oh, man. What does this guy... Th who does this guy think he is anyway? Charging these prices for this stuff. Uh, having said that, though. Once again, you have of course. Okay, so. So here's the thing. Chapter 3. Let's see what he's got. K 
Chaos Shield, 2% chance to strike on attacker. Wait, hang on a minute. What is Chaos? At level 5. Chaos Shield level 5. What is Chaos Shield? Legend holds that this powerful item was created by the god Siric during the time of troubles, giving him one more powerful weapon to use against the, his foes in battle. For unlike most shields, the shield of Chaos truly is a weapon. Whenever its wearer is hit during combat, the shield can retaliate with any number of powerful and disabling effects, ranging from blindness to paralysis to blasts of fire and lightning that will engulf the unfortunate opponent. What? Full plate plus six? Mantle of... Uh, hey, hold up, man. Look at the prices. Are you kidding me? 650,000 for this thing? What the hell is this, man? Spell resistance 32. Does anyone... Can someone... Can a D&D &D nerd explain this to me? What is 32? Is that a percentage out of 100? Does this, does this mean it reduces... The effects, but like, what? What is that? What? What? What is that number? That is the highest spell resistance I've seen in the game. The deacon has an arm and a leg. You could sell off loot. It's loot. RJ Monkey three four two. Hey, welcome back, man. I hope you had a good Christmas and a, and a good New Year, dude. Welcome back. Desert Wind plus 8. What? What is it? What is it? Hang on, hang on. Is this just a blood letter? A blood letter plus 8. Is that better than mine? No! Mine is a blood letter plus 8 too. The defender's spell resistance is like an armor class against magical. Oh, that's 3.5 though. Oh. Okay. What's he got? Oh, wait, hang on, what's this? Shiver ring. Constitution minus one, dexterity minus one, coal resist up. Rod of resurrection? No. Okay, so actually his loot is not that great. I mean... I say that, but like then there's weapons of like plus eight everywhere. So Morningstar plus, yeah, we're selling that. Red Dragon Armor, sold. Great Worm Gauntlets. I'm keeping hold of these for, um, I'm just going to drop these here for a second while we work through this. I know, I know, I know. I know you guys are like, it's a, it's, this is boring, right? I know. The crystal of undeath. I mean, I'm never going to use this, so. 15,000 gold. Oh my god, dude. We can sell items for 15k. Death's Handmaiden. 15,000 gold. How much are these? 560? You guys weren't here last night when I was struggling, picking up each individual gold piece by hand. <sighs> but to be fair, you don't have the barter skill. That's true. That is true. That's true. Um... 
I think that's literally a flat modifier added onto spell resistance versus spell penetration. So what's the, so how does it work then? If I have, if I have a number that says 32 spell resistance, somebody casts a fireball at me, my saving throw to determine whether or not I take any damage is a base of 32 plus whatever my, my roll is. Is that how that works? Because if it is, and then that total number is used against that is my number versus whatever his number is to, to cast the attack. That would pretty much mean that wearing that robe guarantees my success that I take no damage from anything that's cast at me. Because 32 is insanely high. Right? Someone would have to have be... Someone would need, like, God-tier intelligence to hit me with that. A d20 roll plus cast level is the penetration. 32 is the AC for it. Okay, so the AC is... That's a little bit... That's a little bit different. I think I still need to let that bounce around in my dumb head for a little bit, right? It still needs to, still needs to sink in. Belt of fire giant strength. Can you remember when I first had that? A hey, belt, you've been good to me, dude. You, you right there. You've been good to me, man. We've had you for a long time, dude. A very, very long time. But now it's time to go. Okay. I don't need Nash's Ring of Strength anymore. I... it Because it does nothing for us. Right, so... I mean, here we are. We've got that there. Lavera's Wrath, I think I'm just going to sell this. It's a great sword, great weapon, but there's no point for me to have it, dude. Like none whatsoever. Boom. What's he going to, what, what can I buy that for? Let me see what I can purchase Lavera's Wrath for. 250. Two million? Two million one hundred and fifty six thousand four hundred and ninety nine gold. Two million? What? <laughs> hey, I th you just gave me fifteen grand for that thing, man. You're going to sell that to me for two million gold? What? Sentinel. This thing, 862,000 gold. Axe of the Dwarf Lord. D10 sonic damage plus seven, charisma plus two. Dude, everything that's in here is just insane. What is Vorpal? What is Vorpal? DC 18. Is that because it just kills people? Is Vorpal just death? Or is Vorpal like some kind of drain? Oh my god, dude. These, this is just so cool. Uh, Nymph Cloak, Cloak of the Bat. Um, 30k right there. A 
Vorpal means on critical hit or saving throws. Enemy die if they fail. That's an instant killing weapon? Oh my god. We're clearly in a whole other place now. Right, we're in a whole other world of gameplay. Okay, I mean, that's fine, right? Hey guys, what's up? Zerai Berry Picker. Hey, what is that right there? Velox Nettle. Hellbreath Tavern. There's also an insta-kill crit feat for fighter classes. That's what we're going for, man. We are going for that that feat. Um, I am... Oh, I'm so close to leveling up again. Uh, so I actually wanted to see... For one second here. Um, now... Deeks, I've got something for you, bud. This is for you when you turn into Red Dragon Disciple. If you turn into Red Dragon Disciple. Okay. And also. Um, uh, now, can you use these? Okay, they're going to give him a plus two. That's that's cool. Usable. That's nice. Iron skin and plus five. Wait. Okay, so he's still using that. I can't believe my AC is 43 and I'm not even buffed yet. My AC is going to be 48 when that bard song plays. 48 AC. I mean, are we ready to admit? That there is something godlike going on here. Hatred. Strength damage or strife. What is doom? What is a doom spell? Doom, 50% chance for two rounds. Oh, he can't use Kukris. Oh, Kukris are exotic. I forgot. Okay. Sad face shimmery. Wait, what? Uh. Wait, hang on. What? What is this? What is this card table? A doom is like the opposite of bless. A low-level cleric spell, reducing attack bonus and saving throws by one or two. Oh, okay. Sladi slave. Is there anybody in here that's named? The 
tavern keeper is a dragon? Deacon told you they can be friendly. Can I get you something? It growls. The corner of its mighty maw curling up in what looks to be an angry sneer. What do you got? Uh, wait. Hang on a minute. made an epic mistake and I've saved the game. I've made a huge mistake. Oh my god. The tavern keeper's maximum gold pieces per thing is 50k. The freaking demon's maximum was 15! We missed an opportunity to make a lot of cash, man. A lot of cash, dude. Oh, this guy, dude. He robbed me blind. Damn it. No. Wait, are we, are we, is this real, dude? 50,000 gold? Oh, no, man. Oh, no, dude. I feel so bad now. I really do. We all make mistakes in life. Hatred. Sold. Strife. Sold. Amulet of will. Nope. Oh my gosh, dude. I'm never going to use these prismatic boots, am I? <sighs> Deeks, um... I cannot believe what I'm seeing. They're the boots of speed. What about you? What are these? Boots of Elvenkind or something? What are those? Greater Boots of Tumbling. Immunity to Fear and Knockdown? Yeah, 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 yeah. Five points of tumble, tumble are actually one AC. It didn't do anything though. Right? It changed nothing for her AC. Plus, I, I, do, I do like the immunity to fear and knockdown. But. Oh. I still can't get over these, man. I can't get over it, dude. Okay, anyway, let's carry on. What is this? Resolve is. Oh, this is my smith! Oh, 
I can get my thing, dude. Oh, dude, it's so good that he's here. Oh, man. Okay. Get my blood letter to plus 10, my man. Let's get this guy cranking. Right. Liquid HQ. Welcome, man. Welcome, dude. Merry Christmas. Happy New Year. Welcome to the year 2020. Plus nine bastard sword. Okay. Plus nine. Let's get this thing to plus 10. 150,000 gold. Why does it say that I can go to plus 10? I can go beyond. Hold, hold up. This thing is plus 10 already. Let's save this. Um... Can I... Let's see what happens here. Oh, ho, ho. Okay. Okay. Make the weapon regenerate my health. Two points per round. Make the weapon give me resistance against magic. 20 SR. I think I'm going to go for that. Boom. Okay, this thing is absolutely insane. 2d6 acid damage plus 10. I don't think this is... The weapon you are, or are wielding already has many powerful enchantments. I cannot risk to work on such a powerful item. It would be too dangerous. I mean... Okay, I understand. So let's switch it up. I want to upgrade a weapon. Um, I want this weapon to regenerate my health. Right, and and now. Oh. Wait, wait, whoa, 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 whoa. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Hang on, hang on, hang on. I want to see if I can crank this thing up to level 10 before I add another... I, uh, I add another thing on there. I think once you add... Wait, so what was the last thing that I added onto this thing? Sorry, uh, inventory. What was the last thing I added? Wounding ability drain... This thing is plus 10. I can add... I want to upgrade. I want to add magic resistance. Okay. Now let's put the nameless light here. I want to upgrade my nameless light. Oh, wait. So, sorry. Let's save that. Whitakers have a new chocolate milk. S'mores flavor. Interesting. Well. Interesting. Well met. Well met. It's true, dude. Are you seeing this? So you can keep upgrading it to plus 10. Okay. Anybody that's wondering about this. You see the difference? You gotta crank up the plus 10 first. Because if you add on a certain number of like magical uh, enhancements to the blade, he won't let you work on it anymore. So you've gotta do the plus 10 first. All right, my nameless light right now is a plus 8. So I need a couple more hundred thousand to get this guy to plus 10. And 
here we are. Behold. Behold this weapon, dude. D10 plus 18 plus 10 plus 2D6. That's as high as that will ever go. It will not go higher than that. Unless I get more strength. Otherwise, we are... We are ta that's it, man. That's all we got, dude. That's the maximum I can do. We've reached the pinnacle. D10 plus 28. Oh my god. That is 29 to 39 on a normal hit. Plus 2d6. So that is 31 to 51 damage. 31 to 51 damage per hit. Times 3 for a crit. So biggest crit is now 153. Oh man, I can't wait. I can't wait to test this weapon out. Oh man. Wait, what the hell's going on here? What do you want? Shut your ass up. So I'm looking for a guy named Arden Smith. Where is this guy? Arden. Oh, uh, right there. An elderly man with a lopsided grin casually shuffles card at, cards at a side table, occasionally earning the scales of some of the more dour-faced pa patrons. Two horns protrude from his forehead, one slightly chipped. Do you know the Re Reaper's a true name? It's not worth anything. Uh, wait, what? It's not worth anything. Then you are a fool beyond words. So much so that I'll take a bit of pity on you and give you a second chance. Now tell me, how much is a true name worth? Wait, 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 what happened? Did he just steal my my shit? You rotten lying thief. Wait, huh? That has confused me. Sergeant And is welcome, dude. Trumpet of Pandemonium. Are you capped at 34 strength or is it just 34 with your gear? Because I know at plus 12 some servers cut the bonuses um i'm not capped look at my ac dude 48 that is equal to minus 28 of the old like D, &D rules minus 28 ac to put that into perspective i think minsk at the end of my Baldur's gate playthrough had minus seven Minus 7 AC. This is equal to minus 28. What? The hell? Well, well, well. Um. <sighs> okay, let's get out of here. I needed that trumpet, I know that much. Let's get up here. Appear into the crystal? Wait, what? I don't even know what I'm doing, dude! Oh, 
Oh, dude, he's raising an army. Oh, dude. So, Mephistopheles, huh? That's how we're doing this. Okay. Okay. I see you, man. I see you, dude. I see how this works. Oh, hang on. We gotta go down here. That sweet, sweet trumpet. The temple of the s sleeping man. Wow. Wow, dude. Wow. That is, that is bad. Starting off the 2020 with a crash. Announcement trailer for Holdor Part 2. Holdor 2, the hammer holds him by himself again. <laughs> Life. That emote is just so perfect for a crash, dude. <laughs> oh, God, man. Come on, dude. Come on. I think we're in, we're easily into the double digits worth of crashes now. Right? Damn it, I didn't save it afterwards. Okay, so... I'm curious now, do you guys feel any kind of like frustration or annoyance when the game crashes? Is it like bothersome to you guys, even though it's not you playing? I know that's probably a weird question, but I think you know what I mean. crashes that's what you get console peasant i know dude isn't that isn't that just so true what if i can't get in to see the sleeping man what if this is all um all just a scam right let's save Sensei Divana. Hey, not much of a, uh... You don't mind it? I don't really mind the crashes as a viewer, but as a player, I will. It doesn't annoy me, but the fact that the game is so old and this is a port makes me kind of wonder why it's so buggy. 100%. Me too, dude. Me too, because the PC version is not... Maybe it's like the way that it handles memory. I don't know. I remember way back when this game was first on PC, it was buggy as hell. But I, I don't know. I don't know what the PC version is like right now, but from everything that I've read, people are just like, no, it's rock solid. So I don't know, dude. I don't think I would want to deal with the crashes myself enough to put me off playing the DLC as a whole. Yeah. Yeah, it... it like, the main game didn't crash, right? I don't think we had a single crash in the main game. 
aside from that known bug right at the start with the thing which was like a 100% crash right but that I think that's a little bit different if you if you know that there's like if you can do a specific thing to crash the game then that's something that should probably be fixed but random crashes just like going into a building and the game crashes dude come on man I played I played multiple times through this game on PC and I never had a crash yet is that like the GOG version uh, Mr. TJ you playing through like the GOG version hang on just a sec guys One second. I just forgot. Oh my god. surreptitious glance at the tome it appears to be some sort of journal detailing the sleeping man's dreams Psst, here she comes you notice the sensei returning from her meditations turning away from the tome you feign a sudden interest in nearby stonework uh, sensei Welcome here. the tall gray skinned woman, appear, a woman appears calm before you her countenance somber Muscles ripple beneath her leathery skin. As you approach, she turns to you, her eyes a deep and brilliant yellow. Greetings. Like all who struggle in this life, I knew you would come to lay your troubles at the feet of the sleeping man. How is your pilgrimage thus far? Tell me about this sleeping man. Two minutes left till New Year's. Happy New Year's, guys. Who's ever uh, is about to, you know, that clock to strike midnight, mid of the night. Since you have asked, I shall answer. This is the first fold mystery of the sleeping man. So remember it well. He is a celestial planetar. A creature of good like you and I. He's a pilgrim traveling the plains. I also bought the game twice for which to get my best friend to try it out and play RPG with me as he avoids PCs. And I could not play any class other than bland fighting class on a console at all as the spell menu and aiming would drive me insane. It is not well optimized for that amount of stuff you have can do for it as a full caster. Mm. Yeah, I bet. I mean, do you only feel that way because you know you can do that stuff much quicker on a PC though? Like, imagine if you, um, how could you do it? Hey, I don't know. How could you be able to aim and target spells much quicker? It's just easy with a mouse. Like, end of story. The first fold mystery, what is that? Oh, we just hit a level, dude. Before they can behold the sleeping man, you pilgrims must answer his fivefold mysteries. Who is he? From where did he come? Why did he leave? Who did he seek? What was the answer? I wish to recite the fivefold mysteries of the sleeping man. Very well, let us see if you are ready. Answer me, pilgrim. Who is the sleeping man? 
He is a celestial planetar, a creature of good. Yes. This is a pure soul with no trace of pride or vice or vengeance. In following him, we take on his beneficence. A new legend is born. Seagoat. Hey, welcome. Merry 2020. Welcome to the new year, everybody. Say hello to Seagoat. The best Siri cosplayer in the galaxy. If you haven't seen. Oh my god. She's got a picture. Right? Dude. She posted a picture. With Geralt. What? Oh my god. Oh my god. You don't even want to. You don't even want to imagine. Okay, you don't even want to imagine how good. Listen, Seagoat is exactly Siri. Trust me on this. Trust me on this. She is the best Siri in the world. I mean it. 100%. Yes. 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 I have spoken. Oh man. I am right in the middle. I'm right in the middle right now of this. Of, I hope you have you had an awesome Christmas and New Year's by the way. I hope you both did. Sideshow has partnered with uh, CDPR for Witcher 3 and Cyberpunk 2077. Oh. It's not New Year's yet? What? Wait, when is it? Oh, you got two hours to go, right? California? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Drop your picture in here. Drop your picture. Drop it. Show everybody how freaking amazing you are. Everybody click the link. It's so quiet and peaceful in this room. Just hit 12 a.m. Happy New Year. Oh, spider dude. Happy New Year, dude. Happy New Year, dude. Click that link, everybody. Hit that follow button. Right? If I don't see you hitting that follow button... Is going to be trouble. The tub, though, I know, dude. That tub, that tub shot for me. That tub shot, that tub shot of you is exactly Siri, man. Like I, I don't know what it is. Like you've got your face in the right angle. The hair is like perfect. The outfit, the costume, the hand, like it's all like perfect. It's perfect, man. I saw that picture and I was like, dude. And I like ran over to Lane. And I was like, look at this, dude. <laughs> oh, man. No way. You're standing next to Superman. That's not Superman, dude. Superman isn't even real to me. Geralt, however, right? Geralt, however. Oops, that was my... Uh, that was an involuntary knee, uh, knee twitch. Sorry about that. Canivius. God damn it. Henry Cavill is way too handsome. Dab and I'll follow everywhere. That's... Listen, we're talking... You're pushing the limits now. Right? That's a, that's a whole different thing. Um, hang on a minute. Hang on a minute. Yes, his is a pure soul with no trace of pride or vice or vengeance in following him. We take on his beneficence. Now answer me, Pilgrim, from where did he come? I don't know the answer to this. I didn't read the books. Oh, God. Um...
Oh crap. How was your New Year's? It was really chill, actually. Lena and I, we just gamed into the New Year's, right? We just, we just set up like a mini LAN party in the lounge and we had our like TV side by side and, and um, we were watching a few things and just playing games, just kind of like really relaxed. We, we had this like, we had this like 10 minute, 15 minute block of time where we, we just like literally like sat there face to face, like telling each other what we were going to do and what we were going to like try to focus on and and how we were going to try and do things this year and and um it was good man it was really good and we had a we had a coffee crisp um dunked into coffee that was our like little new year's gift with a bowl of like uh mint chocolate chip ice cream <laughs> It's so good, dude. Ah, uh, that's that's the idea tonight for Dave and myself. That's cool, man. <laughs> Hell yeah! I don't think that I can get this right. He hails from the heavens of celestia. I'm sorry, but it is clear you are not ready to enter his resting chamber. Spend some time pondering his fivefold mysteries, and then return to me. Damn it! Um. Oh, wait, hang on a minute. Yes, is there something? No, 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 no. Tom. Yeah, it was so good, man. Uh... So I'm going to have to like try and read this book, right? And then, and then pick out the answers and talk to her or something like that. He had a ring. Okay, Mephistopheles left the Guardians. The Archdevil's Guardians. Wait, that was the fourth fold mystery? Yes, is there some uh, It's big brain time. The sleeping man dreams more and more about his search now, tossing and turning restlessly as I probe deeper into his thoughts. The search had led him to the vast wastes of Carnia, well beyond the gates. Uh, oh wait, no, 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 okay, is there any books here? Deacon? You quiet, Deacon. Oh god, how do I find this? It's big brain time. Uh, no. we can't do that. Okay, so I've got the first answer, and I've got the, I will have the fourth answer, right? Oh, well, we leveled up. Uh, I'm level fourteen, fighter twelve, weapon master. Let's see what happens if I go, if I go fighter. crack open yeah okay no feats zero feats this time so i'm gonna go weapon master i could go champion of torm no feats this time Okay. Okay. That's okay. Call me Q. Your voice is so relaxing. Also, happy new year. Hey, thanks so much, man. I appreciate that. Thank you. I still, I still find it really weird. When people say that. Because I don't I don't Oh yes, yes. This may seem strange, considering 
considering where we are, but I don't know if we'll ever get out of here, and I just want you to know something in case. Well, just in case. It's weird because, um, it's weird because my voice sounds weird to me. <laughs> Uh, someone call me Q someone came into the stream the other day and said so is this an ASMR game channel and I was like huh what do you what do you mean and then they just responded something like well because you're because you're reading and it's very chill and your and your voice is very low and the sounds all i can hear is like the sounds of the game plus your voice and it just seems like a gaming asmr channel i was like <laughs> thank you welcome by the way also the kids call it uh, grass the laner on her merch yes freaking awesome dad she worked a really long time on that what is it, Nithira? We haven't known each other for very long, but we've been through a lot together. I know you were forced into helping us against the Valshares, but even so, I'm still grateful for all you did. I would have helped even if it wasn't for the Gaius on me. I believe you has, just as I believe you'll find a way to stop Mephistopheles and free us from this plane. You're a great hero, maybe the greatest ever. <sighs> stop. Stop it. Nithira, stop it. I'm going to turn my beard red stop but you're more than just a hero to me i'm used to living alone hidden in the shadows i i don't have many friends but i consider you a friend oh look at this answer really i just consider you a glorified servant <laughs> dude the answers oh my god man so mean you can be so cruel and mean in this game dude the evil answers are horrible oh man <laughs> especially the answers to deacon oh man you can torture him so bad and he and he's like this world it's like the world is not good enough to have deacon in it he's a kobold and against all odds, he has the most pure heart of, of like any creature. And the writing for him is just so good. And you can be so mean to him. It, it's just, I, I couldn't. I, If I was playing an evil character, I would struggle so hard clicking on the evil responses for, for Deacon. I really would, man. It'd be really challenging. Even if it was just a laugh, right? To just play through a game like this as pure evil. I would struggle, man, being mean to him. He's just so pure and good. Um, should I ask her if we can be more than friends? I mean, we've been together a long time. I just don't like this approach, right? Can we ask, can we go to coffee first or something? <laughs> oh, man. Something outside this, like, this little, like, umbrella of adventuring, right? Can we, like, step outside of that, that this little bubble that we're in, Nathira? Right? I think it would be great to date a drow, right? I mean, you got to accept that as the man, you're going to be a drider, and you're going to be a servant. And you're probably going to die. <laughs> But, I mean, hey. Let the ship sail. <laughs> I don't think I could get fully immersed in an evil run. It'd be fun and hilarious, though. We could be more than... I'm going to say. I'm going to I'm gonna ask. I'm going to take the plunge. M m more than friends? I'm sorry, Hess. I care for you, but only as a friend. I don't, I don't really know you well enough to feel anything more.
didn't say that. I, no. <laughs> That's what I meant. That's what I meant, man. I, I, I was just, I was just, of course, of course, of course, uh, of course, right? Of course, man. Do it. <laughs> I mean, that's of course. Maybe, maybe I shouldn't have said anything. I don't. I didn't want to. I mean, I never intended to. I'm sorry. She turns away, flustered. Oh my god. No, you think you could do better, Drow? You're no prize yourself. <laughs> Dude, what? Dude. <laughs> Oh man. <laughs> oh man. Oh, I'm crying, dude. I'm not crying because you turned me down. All right? Nathira, let's get this straight. Oh man. It's okay, Nathira. It's o listen. It's okay. I get it. Okay. I've got a face like a mushroom. My charisma is eight. I understand, Nathira. I get it. Right? This whole playthrough, everybody's been telling me I've got a head like a mushroom, that I'm insanely ugly. I get it. She looks up at you, her expression one of mingled relief and sorrow. I wish I felt differently, Has, but I don't. Let's, let's just move on. It's because my charisma, dude. It's because my charisma is eight. Let this be a lesson. Okay. Let this be a lesson. If I had 25 charisma right now. Oh, things could be different. Okay. But she's about those looks. Actually, I wonder if lots of people are about the looks in this game. I think if you have high charisma and you're, you're able to like... Um, have a lot of persuasion and things like that you can really get you can really tap into a, a like some different avenues of completing this game lime wookie what's up dude hello my friend happy new year and glad to be spending it here with you in the chat legend legend thank you man i appreciate that dude thank you Okay, what are the details for... <laughs> Let me just see... Okay... Okay, because this is going to take me like a billion years, right? This is going to take me literally a billion years, so... And because I've already done this one time before, I'm just going to go straight to where I need to get. Instead of like do this manually and try to remember. Let's just try to get it done. Charisma isn't just looks, it's the whole package. It's true. Carved post Elysium. So I need to go back to the...
Chat has 25 charisma. It's true. You guys' charisma is insanely high. That's why you guys get the big bucks, right? Bunch of legends. Okay, um... Weary Quarry Slave? I seek the fivefold mysteries of the sleeping man! The creature spits a foul-smelling substance to the ground. May he rot and freeze and rot again. The hells have no room for bastards like him from Elysium. He's from Elysium. There we go. Okay. Um. The Sullen Pilgrim. Where the hell is the Sullen Pilgrim? Um. The Sullen Pilgrim. As a collective chat, I take credit for all accomplishments accomplished by the chat. Unbelievable. Sullen Pilgrim. Oops, no, wrong way. Where the hell is a sullen pilgrim? Oh, sullen pilgrim's right there. Yes. I seek answers to the fivefold mysteries. Don't bother, I'm sure since I made all of them up, I'm willing to bet there isn't even a sleeping man at all. That winged chap in the tavern, do you know him? A hey, why so glum chum? We sold everything we owned to come on this pilgrimage. We traveled all the way from Limbo, only to end up trapped in the eighth hell of Bator for all eternity. And now that we're here, she won't even let us see him. Not at all? Not until we learn the fivefold mysteries, she says. Well, I've figured out the third one, and it reads like a three-penny fantasy novel. Just the sort of romantic notion that the sensei would dream up. Romantic? Why did he leave? Because his heart had known no love. Utter rubbish. She's created this sleeping man out of whole cloth, and what's worse, she become hopelessly smitten with this character she's created. Uh... Do you know the Reaper's true name? If I knew the Reaper's true name, would I be huddled around this fire right now trying not to freeze? Good point. <sighs> so I have the fourth, fifth. Um, the Reaper. The, the gates of Kanya? Oh, 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 oh. Okay, hang on a minute. Let's try and get to this guy. Hail the dead. How may I serve you, soldier? I seek the five-fold mysteries of the sleeping man. The reaper nods slowly. The sleeping man is wise and old. He passed through the gates of Kanya when they were first formed long before the time of my creation. It has been many ages since I saw him last, yet I suspect he remains there even still, asleep and waiting. Is this so? Yes, it is. What is he waiting for? Carved about the dais where he, where he sleeps were once the words, She will find you by the gates of Kanya. And thus he waits for her. And who is she? Death or a maiden fair, who can say? The words are there, and an answer to a question he must have once asked. That's all I know. Okay. If you if you don't know... Uh, oh my god, dude! That is frustrating. Very, very frustrating, dude.
When's the last time I saved it? I don't know. Luckily, it's very, very difficult to upset me. This is just unfair. It is pretty bad. Hey, just, why don't you guys just get on their case, man? Right? Get on Beam Dog's case, be like. Man, I've been watching Taz versus RPG play Never went to Nights from start, through to Shadow the Undertides, through to Hordes of the Underdark, and there's been about 15 crashes. Unacceptable. And they will listen. Right? Uh, where am I going? Sullen Pilgrim. Yes. Um, life. Dude, thank you for the 118 bits. I'm very surprised that they didn't even make a... They didn't even wobble that cup. Like, not even slightly, dude. Damn. Give me a second. Give me a second, guys. Something's happening with the dogs. I've got to check this out. Hang on a minute. Sorry about that. <laughs> our our dog, um, our little boy Noctis. He's not little. He's huge. Um, was like fast asleep on the deck, but his head was like hanging off the deck. So he was like, <laughs> um, "Okay, let me let me see." Okay, let me see if I have to get that other one first. Okay, so we just got the third one. Let's see if I've I picked up the second one. I don't know if I have, but um I need to get into the habit of saving this all the time. I think you know what I think I'm gonna do? I wasn't quick enough to make an ASMR sneeze. You know what I think I'm going to do? I think I'm going to do like a little bit of a retrospective. Um, for the console edition of this game. When we beat it. And I think I'm going to make a little video. About. Um, I make a little video about the experience of playing through this game. And I'm going to basically say. Hey, listen, this is awesome, man. It is, it's been very cool. I played through the whole thing, right? But the reason why it's so cool is because of its pure nostalgia for me, right? That That is why this game is so badass for me. Pure nostalgia. And that is the feel that keeps me going. But as a, as like a, a product that you will pay full price for, the amount of crashes is unacceptable, right? I think that that's fair. I think that that's fair, man. 
the amount of times it will crash just going into a building is like I mean how many times has that been a crash we, we have had that crash so long like so many times I would say like 90% of the crashes have been upon entering and exiting a building which is just I don't know what's going on there but I think that that has to be addressed somehow like big time Right? Oh, so Fire Ice, you haven't played Neverwinter. So here's the thing, man. Here's the thing. If you haven't played Neverwinter and you want to play Neverwinter, if you have to play it on a console, I would wait a little bit. I would just wait, wait for it to be on sale. Hopefully there'll be a couple patches by that time and there will be a lot of this stuff that is it being experienced right now will be gone. You know, hopefully a lot of that will be out of there. Uh, I had really good luck playing Ball's Gate 1 and 2. Icewind Dale was unplayable. I had constant crashes when closing menus. Board Ming, this is the, P uh, the console version? Somerville... Somerville, you said, wait, hang on a minute. It seems like a core problem with how the game works. I played this on Mac and PC. A Mac had a lot more crashes, but PC had them as well. It seems like it's just a fault within the game. Crazy, dude. Crazy. It's, there's some memory allocation problems, I believe, because it always happens, particularly on loading a new zone or area or, you know what I mean? When there's a bunch of new assets that need to be loaded in, boom, crash. Poorly ported? Well, this is like stuff, I mean, this is from PC, so it would be original. Like, even on the PC. Um, it's uh, It's been crashing, so. Here. I wish to recite the five-fold mysteries. He is a celestial planetar. Creature of good. Yes, his is a pure soul with no trace of pride or vice or vengeance. In following him, we take on his beneficence. Now answer me, pilgrim. From where did he come? He hails from the blessed fields of Elysium. That he does. Elysium is a place of beauty and peace and perfection. Yet he turned his back on it and never returned choosing instead to roam the plains so answer me pilgrim why did he leave his heart had known no love he knew that without passion we are nothing and thus he journeyed many years in search of his true love his journey brought him here to the frozen wastes of Kanya. answer me pilgrim who did he seek um the PC version of Neverwinter Nights, it crashed a lot at launch too. I'm not sure if it still does. Yeah, it does. Remember, Cleo, I said that, man. It was very buggy at launch. But as far as I know, um, it's a lot more stable now. But who knows? Who knows? Like, we've had multiple people. I haven't played the PC version in a very long time. Really haven't, so I don't know. Uh, he is, uh, who did he seek? The Noah of places. The Noahs ruled this plain before the Beta Zoo claimed it as their hell. The Beta Zoo? Wisdom, the sleeping man asked simply where his true love would be found. Tell me, pilgrim. She will, f answer. she will find you by the gates of Kanya. So he returned here to the gates, content in the knowledge that she would find him. Weary from his journeys, he fell asleep. That was all long, long ago. But still he waits here, dreaming of his true love. You have 
have mastered the fivefold mysteries of the sleeping man, Pilgrim. When you enter his chambers, wear this crystal around your neck. It will help you see his dreams. Thank you. Sensei Amulet. Is it good? A sleeping man is a... What? The sleeping man is a... Is a... Uh, a vampire? What is this? Whoa, whoa, whoa. The sleeping man is Big B. The sleeping man is an angel. Words worn thin with age have been carved into the dais of the sleeping man. She will meet you by the gates of Kania, they read, in the room's green glow. The amulet around your neck begins to hum as you approach the sleeping man, and a dim light begins to grow within it. Examine the sleeping man. You can barely discern the slow rise and fall of his well-muscled torso. His breath coalesces into small puffs in the cool air, the feathers of his wings fluttering slightly in the drafty room. There is a sadness in his face and a weariness that hangs upon his brow, but the corners of his mouth are turned upwards in a gentle smile. Something about him feels undeniably holy. Uh, the room is too cold and the worries of the world weigh too heavily upon you. You find yourself unable to concentrate on the amulet and soon give up in disgust. Wake the sleeping man. Sound the trumpet of pandemonium. I'll wait on Neverwinter then. Right now I'm going to go through Baldur's Gate 1. Then I'll do Baldur's Gate 2 and Icewind Dale. Did I hear Bigby? All the spells of the big green hands that throw you to the ground or deal damage then paralyze are called Bigby crushing or holding hand. I love those. Yeah. Bigby's crushing fist. Sound the trumpet of pandemonium. You bring the trumpet to your lips and blow. For the barest moment, it seems as if the multiverse itself has fallen silent. Then with a ripping, tearing sound comes the screaming winds of pandemonium. Maybe Deacon doesn't want that trumpet after all. The trumpet is sucking all the breath from your lungs. You try to stop blowing, but you cannot. Just when you're about to black out, the shrieking fades before you. The sleeping man stirs and awakes. Yo! Wait, what happened? Is this is this bad? Is this what I was supposed to do? Oh. Why did she attack me? She was like, no one disturbs. The sleeping man squints into the dim green light, his eyes not yet accustomed to the waking world. That was the sensei. She runs the temple here. What? What is going on here? That was the sensei. She runs a temple. You tell the truth, I see, but what god did she worship and what is this temple she spoke of? I am still at the gates of Kanya, no? It was you she worshipped. She worshipped some being called the Sleeping Man. I admit I have not heard of such a figure, but wide are the plains and unceasing their variety. Still, it smacks of heresy. You were right to put her down. I swear it was if the fell trumpet blast had summoned her from some planar depths to the attack. 
It would seem to me that you have risked much to sound that blast. Why so? I needed to wake you. Well, you have succeeded in that and then some, but why wake me? Why now? My one true love, is she here? Uh, your one true love? Yes, everyone must have one, even a fool such as I, and I have searched for her all my long, long life. I have it on good authority that she will find me here, and so I wait for her. So tell me, is she here? Um, no, she isn't, but I have some requests to make of you. Very well, if I can wait for her this long, there is no harm in waiting longer. What is it that you ask of me? Do you know the Reaper's true name? I have never heard of this Reaper of whom you speak, but as for true names, I have learned a little. Somewhere between too much and not enough, it always seemed. That was the sole portion of my quest that I was unable to complete. Somewhere banished to the furthest wastes of Kanya is a creature called the Noah of Names. Why were you unable to complete your quest? How do I find this Noah of Names? Mephistopheles imprisoned her in the furthest wastes of Kanya, but the wastes are vast and I know not where her prison lies. There is one who does, and I have relied upon her services once before. The way there is dangerous, however, the distance is long and the winds are deadly. What is more, Mephistopheles left five guardians to bar the way. Two lie dead by my hand, but three yet remain. That said, I know a ring that will reveal the path that leads to the Noah of places. She will answer only one question. It is vital that you ask her where you will find the Noah of names. Why will she only answer one question? Tell me this ring. It is a puzzle ring fashioned for me by the by a modron from the plane of Mechanus. It operates by virtue of hope. Long ago there was an answer I hoped to find and this ring forged the path and led me to it. Okay. Show me the ring. Before I slept I built a vault to keep the ring's three pieces safe. Here, let me summon forth the gate. Oh, and forgive the guardians, it was late and I was tired. What do you mean it's a puzzle ring? It, I was an angel descending to the depths of the nine hells. If I was captured and the ring fell into devil's hands, it would lead them to the knower of places. I didn't dare endanger her like that. Deacon should do that with his loot, boss. He don't want no devils playing it. They might break the string. Deacon. Oh my gosh. Deacon, 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 Deacon. Deacon the legend, huh? <laughs> The ring is fashioned in three separate pieces that fit together in only one way. If I was captured, I could collapse it and they would never know the better. Okay. Uh... So I just go through this door, yeah? Astral door? Subterranean vault. Wait, what? Prayer card? A brief pattern is on this card in the sleeping man's graceful scroll. As a child, I learned hope. When I became a man, my hope matured into faith. With my old age approaching, I pray my faith bears love. Hope, faith, love. I love that I'm dropping like 50s almost with no 
I love that I'm dropping 50s with no crits. On some undeads. 30s to 40s. Oh, there's a 50 right there, dude. What are we doing here? Okay. Skeleton fight, huh? I'm surprised that these guys have got the guts to hit me, man. Isn't my AC like... Oh, it's only 42 right now. Only. us right how is the future do they have hoverboards in 2020 evil spork what's up dude welcome uh i can confirm that tesla is now producing flying vehicles Ooh, I'll take that. Other than that, everything remains the same. I need a name for my white horse with black little points on the backside in Zelda. Any suggestions? Spot. Essence orb. A piece of the sleeping man's ring. Done. Wait, what? Wait, what do I do now? Examine. Three pieces of the sleeping man's ring glitter in your hand, each inscribed with a different initial. You wonder where you should begin. Uh, something faith and love, right? So, uh, was it, wait, was it, what was, what was first? Heart, faith, I think it's H, faith and love, right? Hope, faith and love, there we go. Easy. The puzzle ring is done. Hell yeah. In the vault room. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, I can see into the future, dude. Why is my body fighting the alcohol? This is unacceptable. Right? More alcohol is required. A diamond, some thunderstones, some potions. Really? Oh, come on, game. Give me that sweet, sweet loot. Really? That's how this is going to be, huh? Whale the Banshee. Uh, that spell is awesome. I remember that.
Steve's tall stone skin helmet. Yo, Deeks. Let's get a little bit of identify here. What is this? Armor bone. Armor bonus. What? Oh my god, dude. Look at this helmet. Look at this helmet. Armor bonus versus chaotic evil AC 9. Lawful evil AC 5. Neutral evil AC 7. It gives you whirlwind attack. It's immune. It makes you immune to fear. But it's only wearable by a champion of Torm, a cleric. Only usable by good. A harper scout palette. Does that mean I can wear this? I can't wear it. Champ a good champion of Torm, a good cleric, a good harper scout, or a good paladin. Oh, man. All right, I got one for you, Sergeant. I got one for you, dude. You guys ready for this first dad joke of the year, right? The first has dad for the year. Why did the math book look so sad? Why did the math book look so sad? Because of all of its problems. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> yes. That's right. Don't you forget it. Don't be forgetting that. Reason, dimension, infinity. Okay, uh, dude, I've got your puzzle ring. That be the one. Now keep it safe and hurry. You must follow its path to the lower forests and ask her where you will find the lower of names. The glaciers may have shifted, but the path is true. Oh. I'm just double checking this because, um, okay, so I need to wear this. So, so this ring, by the way, uh, wait, no, no, no. This ring is actually awesome. It gives us like a, a little bit of like a sight into a different plane. So I'm going to run around with it on, but first let's sleep up. Uh, give me a second. I'm just going to hit the little boys room. Okay. I'll also get some water.
All right. Instant hydration, huh? Okay, let's get back. Let's get back to the quarry. All right, I want to do something real quick here. While wearing this ring. See that crate right there? Not visible. Unless you've got the ring. Deacon. The Iron Skeleton. <laughs> Dark Vision. Plus six plate mail with a three dexterity bonus. Ooh. Look at that. It's an lick. Oh my god, dude. So. This armor, the Iron Skeleton armor. A three dexterity. It gives us dark vision and it gives us complete immunity to an entire school of magic. It is not clear what darkness possessed the talented smith who created this unsettling armor. The steel seems to slither along the wearer's limbs, reshaping itself into a new suit with each new wearer. It acts as protection against the darkness, but it also seems to call the shadows themselves. Oh. You're an hour away from 2020. JP. Insanity. Dude. Oh, you just got New Year's Holy Dragon Lolly? Welcome. Welcome to 2020. Holy Dragon Lolly, welcome. Um... Just, just reading up. I want to make sure I don't miss any loot here. Uh... Okay, let's go to the old... Uh, the pub. Right, we want to go to a pub. There's a... There is a... A bow here in the pub. Hell Breath Tavern. Is it in here? Nope. ASMR Sip is saying sold out. Yeah, and do you want to know why, JP? Because some gluttons used all of their points when the stream was at like 10 minutes in and they just went... ASMR sip, ASMR sip, ASMR sip, ASMR sip, ASMR sip, ASMR sip, ASMR sip. Until there was none left. I don't make the rules, man. Right? I don't make the rules! I suggest that you fight them to the death. Look at that short bow right there, dude. Ooh. 
the Black Bow of Bator. D6 plus 8 dexterity plus 3 strength plus 3 use blood frenzy 3 times a day use dragon breath sleep 3 times a day use negative energy burst 3 times a day use war cry 3 times a day dude these weapons are insane The stuff that you can find now is just ridiculous, man. That was the bar brawl. Sleeping Man's Temple. We did that as well. Um, okay, so the Scrivener and the Cave. That's what we're doing right now. Let's get that done. Do the dab. No. No. I should put some like, I should put like some insane, ridiculous thing up just to see if somebody would ever, ever pay that amount. I should put like, I should put like some ridiculous, um, some ridiculous like donation goal, right? Hopefully some like oil prince comes by one day and it's just like... thousand bucks to make this guy do a dab I got a spare thousand <laughs> and one day one day when it happens you guys will be like Talk about all the dabs you've been doing in 2020. Ridiculous. Give us the daddest of dad jokes. Using the thousand bucks he found on the couch. Just just slipped out of a cool 1,000 out of the couch. Uh, what stone am I leading to you? Um, uh, hang on a minute. Wait, 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 wait. Uh, treason... The treason stone. Hey, come on. Come with, dude. Follow me. Treason. Right? Treason. Uh, oh, we need to lead him to one called Dimension. Dimension. Uh, alternate. Coordinate. Dimension. Scrivener, follow me. Infinity. Kick the creature? Oh my god. Who would be so cruel? This appears to be the final stone. The creature sniffs around its base and then heads towards one of the icy walls nearby. Now we can get into the cave. I don't know what this cutscene is for. The 
have Scrivener etched the name Arabeth de Tilmarond? Oh! <gasps> Arabeth, what? That's the frozen woman? The creature cackles in acknowledgement and appears weary now that the task is done. Oh, dude. The creature forms an image of the frozen woman passing by at the head of an angry crowd of spirits leading him towards the gates. Oh, man. Oh, dude, I need to get to that cave. Oh, <gasps> Arabeth. Imagine if I can give her my sword. Give her her old sword back. And then she comes back alive. Right? And kills us. All. She is Mephistopheles. It is... <gasps> She's down there, dude. She's down there. I see her. Arabeth. A new legend is born. Ooh. Thank you, dude. Thank you for the nine months, dude. Oh my god. Thank you, dude. I appreciate that. Thank you, man. Thank you. E yes, sir. Wait, can I do anything here? What are we doing? Campfire. Use one Velox berry to ignite a small fire. Dude, of course, I remember that now. I need to collect a couple more of those berries, right? Let's go get a few more of those berries. Where the hell are they? Save the game! Okay, yeah, I will. Good call, good call. How are you, Thousand Hours? How's your uh, Christmas, New Year's, man? I hope it was good. Hope everybody had a good New Year's and good Christmas. Everybody's pumped up, charged to go into 2020. I'm, I'm, I'm pumped, man. Dudes, I am. This is going to be a great year, dude. A great year. Use two, use three Velox berries to ignite a large fire. As the berries break open, bursts of energy spark forth, igniting the wood near you. In the heat of the resulting bonfire, the woman before you big begins to stir. Ice melts from her face like tears, and her hair clings damply to her brow. For the first time, you realize that she's beautiful. Confused, frightened, and defiant, she attacks. No! Those crits, dude, that string of hits, like 120, 130. <laughs> dude. Oh, man. Must you continue to torment me like this? Just leave me be. 
No, Arabeth. Oh my god, dude, it's Arabeth. Yeah, I need to shrink this down. Hang on a minute. If I say goodbye, can I save this? I'm good, great, Xmas and New Year's. Haven't had much time for gaming, but back home today and tomorrow. Can't wait to relax. Oh, good for you, dude. You continue to torment me like this. <sighs> you were cold, so I warmed you. We were just being nice, honest. I'm a traitor, will you trust me? I'm dead, will you return me to life? I'm hated, will you love me? I've lost my innocence, will you help me find it? Save your breath, there are some things you can't get back. Why did you attack me? Why did you light that fire? I needed your help. I wanted to torture you, I believe you were making a mistake. Wait, I needed your help. Well I didn't need yours, so I attacked you for your selfishness. You were cold, so I warmed you. Uh, I think I know you from somewhere. That's funny. I don't think I know myself anymore. I know my name. I know the facts and details. I know the story of my fall. I was once a paladin of Tear. There was a plague. I loved a man. Oh, you are from Neverwinter. Deacon knows this story. All of it seems like a horrible fairy tale, like a story about someone else from long ago. Maybe that's all it was. Maybe that's how you knew it was, uh, knew it as well. I don't know. I try to forget these times. Why do you try to forget them? Do you want the truth? What if I told you that I don't like who I was in life? I don't even know if I like who I am now. It seems better to become one of the lost, numb even to memories. You don't want that. I do. Please just leave me be. I'm, in doing this, you are only serving Mephistopheles. He was devouring us, eating our very souls to build this army. I'll serve no army. Never again. I served Tyr. I served Lord Nasha. I served Morag and her old ones. All my life I've worn their colors, waved their flags. I'll not serve Mephistopheles now after I've gambled and lost so much. So yes, I challenged him. The other spirits thought I did it for them, but they are fools. I serve only myself now. I live by my own laws as well. Lady Arabeth runs her ghostly fingers through her hair. You can feel her tension channeling through you, passing through your bones and dissipating. Mephistopheles found humor in my challenge and heard me out, listening patiently until I ran out of words to speak. There in silence, he gave voice to the one secret I have harbored within me for so long. Secrets. Oh, hold on, boss. Where did I put my pen? Fenthic Moss, cleric of Tear, hung as a traitor, the man I was about to marry, the man I've always said I loved. I never loved him. I never loved him and somehow Mephistopheles knew the truth. Wait, you were to marry. How could you not love him? He was a well-intentioned fool, but a fool nonetheless. But he was young and a priest of the church I served. To marry him was to marry the church. It all seemed too perfect to be wrong. Why is whether or not you loved him so important? Don't you see? When they hung him, I abandoned my church, my faith, my God. I led an army of evil against Neverwinter, my own city. I wrought destruction on the world and damned my soul to the hells. She has the spark of a drow about her, doesn't she, Has? And to have not done that out of love, out of grief, out of righteous anger, my entire life has been a lie. A paladin of vanity, a black guard of denial. They were equal poisons coursing through my veins. Tia chose you as his paladin. Do you doubt his wisdom? Oh man. Yes, I do. I doubt everything, even myself. Gods can make mistakes, as can devils, as can ghosts, as can mortals. How could Tia still want me after all I've done? Let Tia decide if he will take you. Let Tear decide. You present an argument I can't refute, Firestarter. Perhaps my faith has been refined by your fire and strengthened by this ice. Very well, I shall do as you say. Something big's gonna happen, boss. Deacon, you can feel it. 
on this blade and on my names, both true and given, and on all the good and evil I have done in my life, I commit all the days that remain to me, for better or for worse, to tear in his justice. Let it be so. Yo! Your actions have shifted your alignment 10 points towards good. I gained 500 EXP. Welcome. Would you mind some company? Not at all. Please join me. Then return to me when you have a smaller entourage. If we intend to travel the hells, we must be lean and efficient, able to share the warmth of a single fire. Okay, look, I gotta poll this. I have to poll this. Oh my god. We are not getting rid of Deacon. It's gonna be between Nithira and Arabeth. Get your boats ready. <sighs> Who do we take? Cast your votes. Oh my god. Who is Arabeth? She's the, the, she's the one. Eight for Arabeth, none for Nathira? What the hell? <laughs> oh, dude. I'm for Nathira. She never betrayed you and she really likes you. Oh, Nathira's making a comeback. Oh, man. Arabeth is going to win easily. Wow. Who wants to be a millionaire during these these polls? That is that is hilarious, dude. That is that's a great idea, dude. I should do that. You're absolutely right. I should do that. Oh my god, it's... Dude, it's gonna be a draw. You bums. Don't. Don't. <laughs> Listen, if you... If it's a draw, right... If it's a draw, I'm going to freaking, I'm going to choose. It's a draw. Oh my God. Nathira wins? What? No, what? Oh my God. The thousand hours I put in the Thera for the lols? Oh my god, come on. The chat has spoken. Oh man. You'll need to use Valox berries when it gets this cold. Nothing else will ignite the wood. Legend is born. Ooh. Foster. Thank you, man. Thank you for the 41 months, dude. What an absolute champion. Thank you, dude. I hope you had a good Christmas and a new year too. If it's New Year's at your place yet. Thank you, dude. Thank you for the continuing support. There's, there's a handful of you guys that have been supporting both me and Lena for like the last three, four years, man. It's It's insane. Really appreciate you guys. Into 2020. It's 
about midnight 22 now. Oh. But it's Arabeth though. Dude, guys, it's Arabeth. It's Arabeth, man. Come on, dude. Nathira, I mean, Nathira is cool. I, I don't want to say that Nathira is bad, right? But. Nathira is cool, but it, it, it... <laughs> come on. Robo Robo Kai. Oh, man. Can you summon her back? Yeah, 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 yeah. Hell yeah, dude. Hell yeah. Look. I think we need to part ways. Part ways. Uh, are you are you certain? Go on. Maybe we'll meet. We'll meet later. Wait here until I return. Welcome. Arabeth. A longsword plus four. Arabeth's armor. On hit, freeze. Slow attacker, fortitude, save DC 10, cast level 10. It freezes enemies. Large shield plus 5. Are you kidding me, Arabeth? She has AC 9. Oh man, she has nothing. Are you looting her? I mean... She's got some stuff, you know what I'm saying? That's a damn good shield right there. I mean, I could join her, strip her of all of her goods, and then just leave her, right? That's fair. Make some cash, right? Oh, dude. Yes? What is it? Change your tactics. Um... Actually, what is she? She's a level 20 paladin 6 blackguard. She has kind of low stats. She only has... She has 415 HP. That's lewd. No. That's commerce. <laughs> that's the law. That's the that's the way of the loot. Strength 18, constitution 14, charisma 23. In a battle between her and Nathira, who wins? Well, like this? 100% Nathira. And Nathira will destroy her, man. Nathira's AC is like... 39 and yeah but if she was decked out in some decent stuff had all the bonuses all the gear uh, it would be probably a pretty good fight to be honest yes? what is it? I think we need to part ways here yeah, very well but hurry back as soon as you're able I will miss your warmth and company <gasps> would you like me to join up with you Oh no, dude. Oh no. That just seems so sad. I feel so bad. Oh, you bums. Come on. I'm going to make the game crash. Okay, so where the hell do I even go now? Right? Where where do we even go now, man? I 
I don't even know where I'm supposed to be going, dude. I need to go to some place called the Wastes. Uh, let's go back to this temple. Oh, the freaking door, dude. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. You can always drop the kobold. No way, dude. I could never leave Deacon behind, dude. He is the he is a champion of the highest order. Lol. There's a campsite. Why is it that Deacon never hears you when you walk, Stroud Lady? Ah. Uh, We've heard this one, Deacon. I've heard that one, Deeks. Sorry, man. What are those? You are so Wait, I just destroyed this person. What happened? Wait, wait, what? Who is casting this magic on me, dude? I'm a freaking golem! Who is doing- uh, he, Someone turned me into a dog! Battered, weary, and surprised, you clasp the sensei's amulet in your hands. The light is brighter out here beyond the city's grime, and somehow it seems tied to your recent unexpected transformations. Well, wow, do that again, boss. Each time you shifted form, you swear you saw a flash of light glint off the crystal at the amulet's heart. Cautious, you decide to experiment further. Cash the light along the crystal's height. Why did I just die? Oh my god. Why did I just die? Hey, where is the door for me, dude? Hello, door? I'm wearing the ring. Oh, that was weird. <laughs> Okay, so if I save this here, think carefully. Right? For the seer.
This is so weird, dude. The load times and the, the slowdowns. Put the amulet away. A tattered note. If you're reading this letter, then you have bested one of my guardians of the path. Well know this. I have buried the Molochroth rebels deep in the ice of Kania where they belong. Let them be a symbol of what shall befall those who oppose me. I recommend you turn back while you still have the strength to do so. Astral Blade plus 8? Sonic... Oh my god. Sonic. 2d6 worth of sonic damage. Uh, what is this? Ice? Save it. Oh man. I haven't watched your Before You Buy video yet, but what did you think of Outer Worlds? For me, I just couldn't get into it before going in. I thought it was going to be a completely different game than what it actually is for me. I thought it was just too shallow. I don't know. I played it for one night, and I could see how people who have loved those kind of games in the past, I could see how that they would become very, very... Um, like, I could see how they would become completely addicted to it, right? Earth Elemental. Is that why I just walk up this th now? Fallen Ice? Wait, what? Shift into Earth Elemental form! This is janky as hell, dude. I will overcome. Easy. Let's get in the cave. How do I... What is my... What is my strength? 44? Oh my god. D3 plus 17 plus 3. Okay, I understand. How do I... How do I exit out of this form? How, how do I... No. No. How do I go back? Normally, if you open the character skill bar and go down, you transform back. Cancel polymorph. Okay. Oh. Right, let's catch some Zeds. I'm glad I can just sleep in the cold and my HP will go up. I'm so glad. Oh, man. Save the game. As bad as the drow may be, the surface of Toril will fare much worse under the rule of a devil. True. Ice Troll Berserker. Easy! Oh, actually, maybe not so much. A 
love that. 126, 128. 127. Deacon's feet, not lava proof, huh? Ooh, what is that? Chainmail plus six. I love it. I love how the just the casual stuff we're finding now is so. My AC is 49. Uh, you can rest if you've got enough Velox. Three Velox. That's so cool. Uh, the Mimic's Chamber, that's where we're going, right? The Valsheress is defeated, but now we have unleashed an even greater evil on Toro. Ice Troll Shaman. Just a casual 130 right there. Right, 117. 124. 119 You guys still working on this one troll over here? Hundred and thirty-four, hundred and thirty-five. Easy. Take that mace right there. Um, bigger and bigger numbers. I know, dude. I know, isn't it insane? I want to be me again. Wait, what? What are you talking about, lonely soul? I really hope that they patch this game before I buy it. <laughs> I hope that there's enough demand. I'm pretty sure that they will probably patch it. I'm pretty sure they'll patch it, man. If enough people like get into it, and enough people are like, hey, 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 come on, come on, come on, come on. You're out for the night. Have fun, dude. Spider, dude. Take it easy, man. Happy New Year, dude. See you soon. Mob say redeemed a dead joker. Uh, listen, I got a I got a dad joke about vegans. You guys ready to hear this one? If two vegans get in a fight, right? If if two vegans get in a fight. Is it still considered a beef? <laughs> you got beef with me? Huh? Absolutely not. Stop it. It's discrimination. Peer into the crystal. Let's see what old Mephistopheles is up to. Look at him just walking up through here. I guarantee you, dude. Listen. This guy's all bluster, okay? I guarantee you when old Hairs Von Hammerhands gets to him, he's gonna be two-second Mephistopheles. 
he's gonna be like, <laughs> you cannot defeat me. I'm gonna be like, are you sure about that, Mephistopheles? Are you sure about that? Let's see. Okay, let's see about that. What Deacon should call his new book when it's done? Deacon, we, we've, we've had this discussion, man. Call it Hordes of the Underdark. Gosh, Deacon was thinking exactly the same thing. Isn't it great that Deacon and Boss think so much alike? Oh. Okay, the Mimic's Nest. Legend is born. Ocean Wave. Ocean Wave. Legend. Legend. Oh, thank you so much for the tier one. 14 months. Thank you, dude. Thank you, man. Uh, that thing just stole my armor. Check this out. Check this out. Okay, check it out. Check it out. Check it out. It doesn't matter because I've got a replacement that sets me to the exact same amount. Okay. I think this is some kind of game. Ho, ho, ho! Who, 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 Azer Gem Miner. Dead. Dead. Damn, the is almost. Oh, man. That's what you get. like that huh I just saw a rat go flying are we good potion of lesser restoration okay okay we got a Gym pile? The mimic seems to like him. What is going on here? Cleo, you take it easy, man. Take it easy. Scavenger rat? Uh, 
The mimic just ate the rat. What is that? Oh my god. Hide armor plus six. Cassiel's soul. Immunity to bludgeoning weapons 100%. It's only usable by evil. That is actually insane. Like, ruling out complete damage immunity from one type of weapon class? Or, like, weapon category? Damn, dude! Imagine if it was, like, slashing. Damn! The plates of black and steel are fashioned with a slaver's cruelty to fit only those who seek the foul things of the world. This armor was known to be worn by Lord Cassiel the Vile in his campaign against the purple dragon knights of Cormir. Upon Lord Cassiel's death, the armor was said to be destroyed. Here it is. It's right here. We got it. So what have we got here? Do we have any any extra special treasure chests? None. Boom. Boom. show you. Oh, give me a second, guys. Hang on a minute. attack that's right How do I get my armor back? Mephistopheles played us for fools. We have to find a way to stop him. We have to. Bring it to me. I'll give it right back. Dude. <clears throat> what? 
What the hell? A mimic. But it doesn't seem to be attacking. It only seems interested in devouring gems. Huh? Part of me feels I belong here. A doomed soul condemned to this hell. Jim Paul. Pick up these gems. Man, this place is weird. It's like some subterranean... ...magical kingdom. What's in the center? Fire conductor. Can I just take it? There's a door there and a lever. Oh. Oh. Okay, okay, I see. So I'm going to have to get that chest. And what? Okay, so we take the gems. Let's get rid of this guy. Right? Don't you lie to me. Now these rats steal. Right? Oh, there he goes. Yeah, see? just go. Oh, I see, I see. So what do I do? Do I put... What do I do? Do I just drop this on the ground? come through oh ho 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 Chesty, chesty. Deacon? No, Deacon. The mimic's smoldering remains filled the air with an acrid stench. The clawed hand it had been using to navigate its lair crawls out dazed and crab-like. 
spying the dark sanctuary of your pack. It latches onto your chest, clambers over your shoulder and scrambles in. Though you had originally mistaken it as some kind of appendage of the mimic itself, you now realize it's just some sort of fiendish grappling device. Just as you start to feel some pity for the strange creature, you find yourself interrupted. Gargamesh serves the blasted box of wood right if you ask me you can't imagine how long it's had me trapped in this place with this infernal magic the devil looks at the stump of its wrist where its hand used to be bloody mimics well i'm free now and if i saw what i think i saw i believe you've got a little something of mine don't you burke what gargamesh you better take that back dude you see that's what happens katana antsy happy new year dude welcome can i take that fire conductor dude Give me that iron skeleton, dude. And give me that iron skeleton. Boots of striding plus 10. Oh, dude. Let's see what that does to my constitution. My, my HP is 328. 380 HP. Easy. Oh, a thousand hours, man. The loot. Dude, you don't... Look at my AC, dude. 48. And I'm equipping the Iron Skeleton. Because this thing is even better. 49. My blood letter. Plus 10. Bastard sword. A acid damage 2d6. It has haste. It is keen. On hit ability drain DC 24 for strength. On hit wounding DC 14. Spell resistance and vampiric regen. Okay, the other hand, nameless light. Enhancement bonus plus eight. Enhancement bonus plus evil five. D six damage electrical. Damage bonus acid two D six damage. It's keen on on hit ability drain. D C twenty four strength, true seeing. Ooh. Belt of Storm Giant Strength. Strength plus 10. Oh. Forget it. Forget it. Right? We are killing this game now. What is this? Radiant Death. Only usable by a, by a Weapon Master. Decreased Armor Class. It's a plus 12... A plus 12 katana. What? Dude. We went from like struggling to get like plus threes to plus fours. To this DLC going from like plus threes, fours instantly to like six, sevens and eights. To chapter three. Now we're rocking plus twelves. Well, insane. This finely crafted katana belonged to the renowned swordsman Viramoto, a weapon master from the east who fought a hundred duels before finally dying. The keen blade shatters through any opponent's defenses, but it is so sharp and light that it is most difficult e for a, even a master to wield. 
Viramoto gradually, gradually become distrustful of the weapon, and for his final duel, he favored a different weapon, only to fall in battle, his first and only defeat. Massive crits for an extra 5. Data 259, Happy New Year from the Mountain Time Zone. Hey, Happy New Year, dude. Happy. Happy New Year. Demonic Grappling Hand. What? This hand seems to have a life about it. It wriggles and writhes as you hold it, constantly gripping at your fingers. When properly thrown, it will latch onto nearby obstacles, provided there is something it can grab onto. Upon hooking onto something, it will pull its owner over to it and place itself back in its owner's backpack. The demonic grappling hand can also be used to manipulate some objects, like activating them or pulling them closer to its owner. My strength, dexterity, and constitution are all insane levels. That katana is the highest possible one-handed crit damage weapon you can get, I guess. It, it's kind of insane. I don't even know what to say about that. The deeper wastes. That is freaking insane. Wait, what? Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, the torch, the torch, the torch. Yeah, 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 yeah. How do you like that, huh? You think this is a game? Casual 125s, casual 124s, 136. Come on, let's get those crits. 134. Come on, I want... I want to crack that 150. Hundred and I think the, our best one so far is 141. But we're capable of so much more. I love how these guys are also dropping like 4,000 gold. Like, man, we are not mucking around here anymore, dude. Still poor charisma. By the amount of strength and damage, he does not have to be a beauty prince, but at the end of the day, someone might ask, did he kill him with his low charisma or his high strength? Both. Oh, they're all having the same conversations now. That's kind of sad. We, ra we ran out of dialogue options for our, our team. 127. 139 139 For the seer 125 123 121 Do you have a moment that I would like this place It's empty and bleak But the cold makes your lips such a, such a pretty shade of blue. Listen, we're not even playing this game. She doesn't like us. Well, we are in one of the nine hells. It isn't supposed to be pleasant. Wow, you've got a great grasp of the bloody obvious. Oh my god, we don't need to be nasty, right? I guess I don't want to be sarcastic either. So I guess we, are, we can only give her a compliment, but she's going to be weirded out. Is that all you think about, even here in this frozen wasteland? I might find your clumsy attempts to flatter me more admirable if they weren't so horribly inappropriate. There was nothing else, man. I could have been a dick about it. Oh my god. 
Besides, I was not speaking of simple physical warmth. The cold I was referring to goes far deeper. It is the frozen chill of the lost souls trapped all around us. All I feel is the need to find a way out of this place. <laughs> you can feel the lost souls. Surely you can feel them too. They are like shadows of ghosts. They barely even exist. But if you listen, you can hear them like a whisper of a forgotten echo. It's been growing stronger ever since we got to this plane. It's like they're trying to speak to us. To tell us something. But I can't quite make it out. Not yet. Can we just move on? Maybe they're trying to warn us. I don't think that they're trying to warn us. It's almost like... No, it's gone. They've gone silent for now. Ethera pulls her arms tight against her and shivers. Let's keep moving. Okay, so you're calling the shots now, huh? Is that what this is all about? Oh, okay, let's put the ring on. Hang on a minute. Firstly, let's just drink that. Drink that too. That was weird. I didn't like that interaction. I didn't like it at all. I don't like it when the game like forces you into a situation where you have to be like a dick or be like those three options. One was like be a total like be like really evil. The second one was like be a sarcastic dude, right? And the first one was like be a sleazy dude. There was like no neutral answer to it. <laughs> Ah, uh, the worst. <clears throat> Wait, this is Grimnor? Grimnor? Oh, he's from the Long Death. The leader of this fearsome group, a dwarven monk wearing robes that mark him as the member of the Order of the Long Death, watches you with cold, dead eyes as you approach. So has Von Hammerhands. It seems the Silent Lord has finally claimed you. It is unfortunate you have ended up here in the Hells, however, since we are planning to take over. Hydration. Have I missed anybody tonight, by the way? Has anybody come into the stream and, and been like, Yo! Hello! Happy New Year! And I've just been like, da -da -da. I know you, you're Grimnor, that dwarven monk from Neverwinter. You know my reputation has Von Hammerhands, just as I know yours. Nah, dude, I was there. I was talking to you like a week ago. And during my life, I was a servant of death. The Silent Lord, I knew the name and face of all those who delivered souls to my master. Those like you has Von Hammerhands. In all your adventures, how many have died at your hand? A hundred? A thousand, you have served the Silent Lord well, and you are well known among the Order of the Long Death. Enough talk, Morgrim. Morgrim? Morgrim, you swore your allegiance to me when the power of the Old Ones abandoned you. Don't forget that I'm in charge. His underling, duly chastised Grimnor, turns his... Attention back to you. Oh my god. Kel, how are you, dude? Welcome, man. 
podcast starts. Hello. Happy New Year. You're sipping mulled wine. Oh, yeah. A 100. What do you think has is? Wait, what? Do you see these swords, dude? I've killed billions. Talk to me about no small number. I don't want to hear no. Oh, you've killed 50. No. We've killed billions. Morgrim. How many of you put down with those fists? 25, huh? With Mephistopheles gone, there is a void that must be filled. This plane of hell needs someone to rule. Those who swear allegiance to me will be rewarded. Those who do not will be destroyed. I don't care what you do here. I'm just looking for a way out. I think I would like to rule this hell. You will swear allegiance to me. Only the strongest can rule in the nine hells. I'm stronger than you, has von Hammerhands. Therefore, I must rule and you must be destroyed. Really? Okay. All right. Listen, I didn't get to prepare for this fight. I'm half dead. Let's see. Let's see. Real quick. Okay, we got demon. Take the demon first. If we can. Okay, let's take the mage. No, 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 no. I'm, I'm blocked somehow. I'm dazed. Okay. Okay. Okay, Grimnor. Okay, you think you can take me, Grimnor? Okay. Let me get that mage down first. Let me heal up. Let me not go into that fight half dead and we'll see who's who. Grimnor thinks he's a boss. Alright. Let's see, Grimnor. Also, this time I'll take those, uh... Take those mages down. Now you shut your ass up, Grimnor. Time to die, dwarf attack. Hang on a minute. Dead. This guy, Morgrim. What's going on here? Morgrim's gone. Time for the devil. Koth all Kithan. Okay, Grimnor. What's up, dude? Bring it. Ooh. Think this is a game, Grimnor? Huh? Wait, Grimnor is uninjured? Wait, who's shooting me? Oh! Grimnor, where's the... Is 
Sit down. Good fight. Oh, what? Oh, we got some loot here, ladies and gentlemen. Ooh. Oh, man. Ooh. The Devil's Ring. The Devil's Sting. D6 Acid Damage. It's a plus 6 Rapier that does 2 Constitution Damage at DC 26 and 2 Strength. Yep. Okay. Uh, Nathira. Yo. Listen to me. Listen to me. I have something for you. I've got a, I've got a gift. I've got a gift for you. It's called Devil's Sting. Okay, and I know that Death Slayer is awesome. It's very awesome. I understand. But Devil's Sting is better. D6, D6 Acid, it's plus 6. What is this? That's plus 5. It has a 3 Dexterity bonus though. But now you have Devil's. Okay. Uh, also, Ring of Protection plus six. What does Nathira's Cloak do? It's plus five, so AC 43 now. Um, Greater Swordsman's Belt, Slashing. Listen, I might as well give you that, right? You might as well wear that belt. Slashing resist 20. Gloves of discipline. What is this? Invisible death. Wow, that is plus seven armor. I This might be better than hers. AC 45. <gasps> oh. Wow. And what is this? Heavy crossbow plus six. Mantle of great stealth. Ethereum's cloak, constitution, six. Dude, that is actually a really good cloak, though. She doesn't have a helmet. Let's, uh, let's remedy that, huh? Helm of brilliance? Helm of righteousness. I could give her the helm of brilliance. Do we have any spare glove? Gloverinos? Uh, what are those? Just discipline gloves? 30. Let's just give them to her. I don't think we've got any other gloves, right? Okay. Oh, hang on a minute. Uh... Deacon, Deacon, Deacon. I may have a little gift for you, Deacon. Bloodsucker. D4 plus 6. It's keen and has vampiric regeneration. That's right, Deacon. I thought you might like that one. I thought you might like that one, dude. Mm hmm. Does that armor give you boobs? No, no, it's because of, um, um, 
when you take the male armor and you equip it to a female, it switches out the way that it looks. Oh man, remains. Boots of hardiness. Oh, dude. Imagine if we get like an epic boots of hardiness plus 10. Can you believe it? Oh my god, dude. Wait, page two? Oh. <gasps> Did he, did she have page two? Oh! Epic amulet of health. Oh my God. Listen, I need to pay attention, man. I'm, I'm like. Cape of fire bath. Oh my God, dude. This, this loot is the best, dude. Epic gloves discipline again. Belt of fire giant strength. Pathetic. Ring of Elemental Cold Immunity. 100% cold resistance ring. Putting that there. Um, what else did I get here? Boots of Hardiness plus 3. Okay. Um... It's hard to imagine how much more you can break this game. Oh, we got a long way to go yet, man. Trust me. Once I start dealing like 150 plus damage on every single hit, then we will have truly reached our peak. <laughs> what singular enemy will dare face us? Okay, so this half plate plus seven... Is it even? It's the same AC. Can you believe that? I mean, I'm taking this, of course, but still. Mantle of great stealth. The Slasher of Koth. What is this? Electrical D10. It's plus 5 and keen. The Cape of Fire Bath. Fire Resistance 10. Ah, oh, that's neither here nor there. Epic Amulet of Health. Immunity to Death, Disease, Level Ability, Drain, Poison, and Regen plus 3. I'm keeping that. I'm keeping that one. Epic Amulet of Health is better than the Greater Amulet of Health. Now it's time to sell the Greater. I'm dumb. What is Keen again? Keen doubles the, the crit range. So, see this here? It says 19 to 20. If it's Keen, which my one is, that means it crits on 17 to 20. And if it's, if it was a base critical threat of 18 to 20, then it would be 16 to 20, right? No, it would be 15 to 20. So right now mine is my my threat range is 13 to 20. So that's why I crit so much. Okay, so that was some that was some good ass loot. Who's that? That's Grimnor. Let's get more Grim. Oh man. Plus six scarab of protection, right? Save the game. Hang on a minute. Save the game, dude. Save the game. Let's not muck around here. Plus six. Brace of armor plus seven. Fortitude plus five. Um... 
how much stuff do we have to sell, man? This is insane, dude. Ring of Protection plus 6. I don't know if these are Ring of Fortitude plus 5. Isn't this one plus 6? It is. Ring of Protection plus 6. It's the same as mine. Scarab of Protection plus 6. So we're selling this greater amulet of health, right? We're selling that scarab of protection plus four because we we're replacing it with these two. Yeah, I, dude, I am only selling stuff to that guy from now. Like a hundred percent. Also, why is my weight down to like 930 pounds now? Have you thought about that? What's the deal with that? Why is my strength, my strength low? Oh, my strength's been decreased. Let's rest. I want to get my two swords to plus 10. Then, I want to add in that um that regenerate that health regen did you meet gruel yeah 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 i did he has good stuff but he ripped me off we've got a we've got a bad relationship staff of belferon we already we already yeah we did this cloak of epic spell resistance 32 I think that's me. Yep, I think that's me. I think I'm rocking that that cloak. Spell resistance cloak. Mm -hmm. The robe of Belferon. Cold, electrical, fire, negative energy burst level 6, regeneration plus 5. Yep, I've got plus 10. Belt, belt of uh, Storm Giant Strength. Bolt of Dispelling. Okay, these armor... Um, Deacon, what have you got here, dude? Um... Natural armor plus six. You've got... What have you got over here? You've got a ring of protection plus five. Okay, let's sort that out, right? Now, whereabouts is that re replacement? You've got a ring of protection plus six here. There you go, Deacon. 39 AC. You like that? Huh? You like that, Deacon? That's what I thought. And what else have we got for you, Deacon? We've got this guy right here. Braces of armor plus seven. Okay, now your armor is 40. Cape of winter. Cold resist 10. That's why you're not taking any damage. So we'll keep that for you. I'll take that away so I can sell it. Do we have a bit of belt? Belt of agility plus four. And Nathira. No, Nathira. Yes, is there some okay, so this is this is easily some of the best loot I've gotten in this entire game. Hands down. Fortitude, what has she got here? Plus six, ring of fortitude, plus five. We've got a spare slot here. Natural armor, plus five as well. Um, all right.
Oh, weird. Oh, my bad. My bad. Braces of armor plus six. Will this do anything for her? Nothing. Okay. Stealth, We've got the fire breath, boots of reflexes, the robe of Belferon. I mean, this thing? Only usable by sorcerers and wizards. I definitely want this. I think we're maxed out. I think I need to. I think I need to make a run back, dude. I'm going back to the dragon. Is this where I came in? Oh no, dude. Oh no. Um. The way is blocked by these statues. Which way did I come in here? This way? Oh no! I can I not leave? Wait a minute. can't pick anything up that's the problem i want to come i want to exit this place and come back here i want to exit the place and come back so how the hell do i do that i mean let's let's see how much loot i can get rid of by selling to the gin right but it's going to be pathetic it's going to be real i'm only going to sell like i'm only going to sell the this basic stuff right it isn't going to be is it isn't going to be very expensive. See so you can see how much room we can clear up. I know that I can sell those, right? Ring of elemental resistance. That's what I've been equipping. Five diamonds. What is this? Heal potion of bark skin. Just use it. I'm not selling any of this stuff, man. Mace plus six. Yeah, nope. Um... Oh, I can sell that because it's, if it's only going to be worth six and a half, then that's what it's going to be worth, I think. I think. There's no, 
is no way I can get rid of this stuff. Oh, only 11,000. Boots of reflexes. Those are pretty cheap. Oh, maybe, maybe, maybe Grimnor. So did I, did I get rid of everything that Morgrim had? Oh my God, dude. Oh. Deacon. Deacon. Identify man. Epic gloves of concentration. Now if I had some, if only I had a mage. Ring of power. That's actually a really cool ring. I'm keeping that. What is this belt? Girdle of holy might. Yeah, we can sell that. Easy. Ring of Holiness. Bonus spell. Man, this guy was like... Bonus spells everywhere for this guy. Fortitude. Gloves of Discipline. Belt of Fire Giant. I can't remember where, where the new things are going to be added now. Blood Plate Mail. Constitution goes down... Hey, is that better than mine? AC6? This gives me dexterity. This takes two constitution away, but it gives me regen of three. And it weighs less. C44. Exactly the same AC. I'm going to lose some HP though. I wonder if it's worth that tiny amount of regen. Uh, I don't think it's worth it. I don't think it's worth it. Cloak of Protection plus 5. That's definitely not worth anything. Ethera can wear these because she's a wizard. Yes, is there something you need? What is this? Oh, come on, man. Here, look. Tower shield plus six. That's a plus nine AC shield right there. Oh man, dude, the loot. Okay, so the only person that we have to rob now is Grimnor. Gives me a key, right? Scarab of protection plus six. Ring of protection plus five, ring of resistance plus three. Okay. 
Okay, so we've still got a couple little bits here. full up. Um, Deeks. Identify. Boots of the sun, soul gloves of the long death. Bah! Trash. Right? Once again, I'm... Ring of elemental resistance. So where is that elemental resistance plus three? Oh. Salt. 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 So we can take all the loot. That ring of holiness is not actually that great. Belt of fire giant. Mm. Sell that. Wait, boots of elven kind? Sold. Boots of striding here, we hold on to that. Boots of reflexes? Sold. Okay, Deeks. Cloak of Resistance plus five. Plus five saving throws. Oh, man. Master... Wait, Master Robes of the Old Order. Five soak, ten damage. Armor bonus, seven. Okay, I think we picked up all the loot, man. Let's put our ring back on. Holy crap, dude, that was amazing. And now we've got more. What? Robe of leathers and a wand of paralyzation. the hell is this? Nossa. Okay, hydrate. Gotta remember. Oh my god. <clears throat> Wow, this, this, <laughs> it seems like, you know what they did for the, for like the, the epic level armor here, is they just like, just crank it all up, right? Add tons of enhancements, add, add all this, on hit infestation of maggots level 15. What does maggot infestation do? Is it like constitution damage or, or something? 
you can use Caltrops three times a day, use Greater Cat's Grace once a day at level 11, use Poison Weapons unlimited uses per day. It's ridiculous, man. Flame Silver, thank you for the raid, dude. Thank you, man. Welcome, everybody. Welcome. Get in here. Thank you, dude. How's your stream, man? Oh, dude, this, this amount of loot is just... It's insane. I don't even know what to do now. It's like D4 constitution damage every round until the person withstands a fortitude save against it. That's so evil. Tracks. You see some well-worn rat tracks crisscrossing the dusty floor. They must have a nest somewhere nearby. Can I just clap these down? That's right. Do you see me? I need to use my, my necklace, don't I? I need to like... Um. Wait, not the Sensei's amulet, right? What's this thing? Where's my amulet that transforms my, like... Uh, it was a great stream, probably my best yet. Chat was full of so many different names, it was great to see. That's, that's awesome, dude. That's really good to hear that, man. With all this great loot, it doesn't make you... Wait, doesn't it make you question what could be coming up? Yeah, a little bit. But I mean, let's be honest. Whatever's coming up... <laughs> It's gonna be easy. Okay. A new legend is born. Ooh. Adrian. 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 Legend. 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 Thank you, man. I appreciate that, dude. Thank you for using your prime on me, dude. Seven months. Thank you, dude. How are you, man? Hope you had a good New Year's. Is this the right amulet, dude? Hang on a minute. Let me see if it's this one. <gasps> okay, catch the light along the crystal's length. I don't know. This time... You know what? I need to save this just in case I die. Last time, I died. I don't want to do that again. Just double tap to save. Just in case. A little buzzed. But I'm good. You imbibed a little. Just a little, right? I'm a wolf. Wrong one. Dude, how come I did this before and I died instantly? Catch the light along the crystal's height. I did this and I died instantaneously. I died. Fly through the hole. Easy. Rat's nest. What is that? Huh? What the hell is that? How 
can I move this around? So silent. How the hell do I strength six? Freaking pixie. Deacon. What was that that I just picked up, man? Soul drinker? Okay. You're lucky. I was thinking to myself that we just found a better bastard sword. A better one. One that was even just... Oh, man. <sighs> Five minutes before I finally hit New Year's with the rest of you lot. Oh, man. Relocated to a park beach next to Waikiki. Took an ultralight chair in my back. Man, you guys... Legendary. Wait, wait, East Bright, are you on? Are you on the same? Are you on California time? Scavenger rat. I'm killing the scavenger rat. Okay. Okay. You never know. The rat might have a gigantic bastard sword in his inventory. You just never know. It could be a trick of the light. Hawaii time is only 10 p.m. Oh, dude, you're, you're at the absolute end. It is the last place. Oh, my God, dude. You're at that very, very end. Reslin, what's up, man? How are you, dude? Oh. I cannot bear a single puzzle's sepulchre. Wait, what? Dude, the cutscenes are so janky, but it's so cool that they added them into this game. What are we doing? I'm waiting for that 150, man. I'm waiting for that 150, dude. is a little just a tiny bit too long right has that a full day of 2020 i have i've had a full day man it is like 9 p.m right now it is 9 p.m on the first. I have three more hours and this, the first day is done. 
Are you kidding me? What the hell is wrong with you guys? Where have you even been? And please, can I... Can I... Am I ever going to get out of here? Or is this the end of the game? Am I... Am I officially done? Where's my spell... Spell uh, elemental resistance? Here we go. Eleven fifty nine. Got like a minute. Here it comes. Nice. Happy New Year, you guys. Do you like how subdued I am? Ah, listen. You get one of these. It's like a billion of us over here. I did the Korean tradition where you watch the sunrise on a new year. I stayed up all night playing games with my friends. Oh, that's cool, dude. That's cool. That ASMR new year. Oh no, why are you torturing me like this, dude? Stone to stone, the stone turns lightning to lightning, the lightning fades. Gold necklace? Pathetic. Literally everyone is Happy New Year now, except eSprite. Right? eSprite is the last straggler. Where the hell is my map? Oh, 
Come on, bring it, bring it, dude. Dead before he even hit the ground. Rags, how are you, man? Boom! Let's go! Oh, where do we need to go here? Huh? Up that way? What's going on here? Have a great 2020 Haas and Lena. Hope you continue to not only stream, but to enjoy it as much as possible, among other things. To an awesome 2020 to everyone else in chat, especially the legends. Hash I want Debbie's cookies where you at. <laughs> oh, Ben's kid. Thank you, man. Thank you for that, dude. A freaking legendary man. Thank you for the $20. Thank you so much, man. I appreciate that, dude. Thank you. Thank you. 2020. Is that the sound? Wait, what? Wait, did you guys hear the sound? Or no? Thank you for the... Thank you for the 2020, man. Absolute legend. Has he new year? Dream dreamer, welcome, dude. I have no idea where I'm going. Uh I I legit have no idea where to go. Let, let, let's uh let's let's go north, right? Bada bing. Ooh, that's right. Let's go here. Yeah, 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 yeah. We're going across that way. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's go kill. All right, let's go kill this guy. Fallen one. Level up. Wait, what? Dude, I needed like 30k to level up. You know what? I'm going to take it, dude. I don't even care right now. That is awesome. Let's save this under test. Sorry about the smoke from the fires here in Oz. Unaffected, man. Right? Unaffected from us right now. The South Island is probably not enjoying it so much. But we're fine. Uh, I'm going to try and pop a, uh, pop a trophy here just for the hell of it, right? Wait, let me, let me save this first. Save test. I'm going to try and get this trophy. I think if I, I think there's a trophy that will pop if I, if I multi-class. Nothing happened. There it is. Right there. But I don't want to do that. I just want that trophy. <laughs> oh, terrible. Um, I want a level 15 fighter. Okay. I want level 15 fighter. 30 discipline. 30 parry. Wow. 
one remaining feat. Epic energy resistance. What is that? Epic fortitude. Epic. Great charisma. Great strength. Queen. Welcome, welcome, welcome. My favorite chaotic evil streamer. You take that back. I've done nothing but perform at the highest level of goodness. Right? You just haven't been here to see it, but trust me. It's been the... Oh, the pinnacle. Absolute pinnacle of goodness. Uh, I think I'm going to go... I think this is it. I think when I choose this great strength feat... It's going to add... Oh, you bum. I did not mean to press that. Um, I think that's going to be me with the old, uh, 20, 23 strength done. I think now my base strength is 23, and I think the very next level up that I have, I will be able to finally get devastating crit. Uh, wait, not devastating crit. What will it be? It will be, uh, or will it be devastating crit? No, it won't be devastating. It will be overwhelming crit. Uh, and then the next level after that will finally be devastating critical. Which is where a target must make a fortitude save or die instantly. <sighs> For every single strike of my weapon. Like 50% of the time. Let's just say. May as well be, right? May as well be. As long as RJ doesn't come along with any incriminating clips. No way. No way. Crossbow of lightning strike. How can I, like, how can I find a way? Let me put this here. Listen, let me put this here. Let me put, let me, let me, let me, hang on. Uh, uh, let me, let me sell some stuff. Let, let me, let me sell some. Wait, what? What the hell just happened? Most of the time, all of the time, right? All of the time. There's been nothing that's happened. I've killed nothing that was innocent. I'm in one of the ninth, like, depths of hell, right? This is, this is a bad and evil place. Trust me on that. Of course. Just remember the rules. Good look. Wait, why the hell is she attacking Valkyrian? What are you doing, dude? Why is she attacking Valkyrian? Uh... Hello? What's your problem? Uh... You killed an innocent rat because you thought it had some loot. I mean, let's let's not let's not get caught up in the little things. 
You know what I'm saying? Let's think about the big things here. Let's think about big picture stuff. Unbelievable, you guys. Let's think about the big picture, man. Okay. Sea goat, happy new year. Now that there's a bunch more people in here, let me just say something. Okay, let me let me tell you guys something. Let me tell you something about sea goat. Right? If you guys don't know sea goat. Hey, what, what's happening here? No! There we go. That's right. No, no, no. Oh, God. Let me just get through this. Right? Seagoat is the best Siri cosplayer on the planet. I'm not, I'm not even joking. You think I'm joking? You better go and have a look. Oh, damn it. Yeah. The best Siri cosplay on the planet. She even has a picture. With Geralt. Ponley goat? Ponley goat? Oh man. Stone to stone, the stone turns lightning to lightning, the lightning fades. Wait, what's going on here? Wait, huh? How do I... Hang on a minute. Yes. Uh, stone to stone. Why is my strength decreased here, man? What's going on? Potion of heal. Do I have a restoration potion here? the strength of a god where do I find said cosplay somebody Seago drop drop your links bestest goat it's true drop the one drop the one with uh you with Geralt and and uh the bathtub one right So the good ones. I mean, you can spam them all if you like. Take a look at that. Look at the skill. And agility. Uh, wait, what the hell am I even doing here? There's a puzzle here. Um... Do I have to turn them all towards the door? Deacon? Quiet, Deacon. Give me a second. Yeah, Get out of my way, Nathira. Is this, is this the... Wait, I can just go straight... Oh, no, I can't. I see. I see, you guys. I see. Deacon? Deacon? Get out of the way. Get out of my way, Deacon. Stop standing in front of the... Okay, now let's let's pull this bad boy. Right? Oos. Huh? 
something must be wrong here. What what do you what do you mean? Oh. Oh, I realize what the the thing is now, man. Oh my god, dude. Okay. Listen. I was just mucking around before. Now it's the real deal. <sighs> okay, I've got to go hit those levers, man. Now there's levers, there's, there's like platforms with multiple levers here. I've got to go hit three. I paid good money to see you hydrate yourself. Wait, did I not hydrate? Trust me on this, man. There's going to be some mega hydration. Yeah, do you see that? Did you see me pull that lever? That's right. Where's the other one? Does that leave it? Does that one have two? Nope. That one has two. I see you. You neither hydrated nor got your butt up out of the seat. Okay, 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 okay. Get, get, let me get this puzzle solved. Right? It's requiring all of my attention and capability. You see that? Now we've got the skill. Man, this is why you guys watch this channel. I know. I understand. Wait for it. Boom. Easy. See that? Now that, that is skill. Agility. And Deacon gets to play his tunes, right? I don't have the highest intelligence. Dude, are you kidding me? I have the highest every single stat in the game. No one can approach it, man. No one, dude. God tier everything. God tier everything. Hydration. Arctic Fox 808. Listen, I've got a really, really intelligent one for you guys, right? You think my int is low? This isn't me speaking right now. This is Von Hammerhands. Okay, think about this. Think about it. Okay. I had a dream last night. Right? I had a dream last night that I weighed less than one thousandth of a gram. I was like, OMG. <laughs> Think about it. A 
Okay. Think about it. <laughs> now that. Okay. Now that. We're, we're like way up here now, dude. Way up here, dude. Skill. Right? Mind games. Massive intelligence required, man. Now, I know. I know that there's a few people in the chat right now like... Right? Just... Too bad. You have to go away. Do some research. Study. Maybe get a, get a degree or something. Right? Do something. Get a cloak of intelligence, a headband of intellect, right? Whatever else they have in D&D. &D. Spontaneous. Thank you for the raid, man. I appreciate that, dude. Thank you, man. I hope you had a good stream. Board Ming says, A New Year's resolution is something that goes in one year and out the other. Oh my god. <sighs> Board Ming. Why are you doing this to us, man? What? It didn't work. There must be something wrong here. Are you kidding me? Um, no. Me can't do that. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. No, dude, I don't want you to turn that way. Deacon? No, Deacon. What is going on here? Listen, I'm going to get up out of the seat real quick. Okay. Spontaneous, by the way, thank you again, dude, for the raid. I appreciate it. I hope you had a good Christmas and New Year's, dude. What did I come into? I don't know, man. These guys are just, like, telling the worst dad jokes ever. Right? I don't know where they picked up this bottom-of-the-barrel stuff, man, but it's just... Oh, 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 oh. Let me try something else. Ah, oh, see, this thing changes color. It's confirmed my suspicions. Let's get this thing back to blue, man.
blue for Wait, why did this teleport me back to the start? What the hell happened there? It glitched out? How am I supposed to know which color is going to work? I guess I have to start at one. Blue for lightning. I went and studied some math and science. I think I get it now. The O in OMG is a zero. Oh! Big brain, dude. Big brain plays. Big brain plays. Ooh, there we go. Now watch me. Now if I get back there and I flick this lever and it doesn't work, we're going to go and switch all of them to like yellow. I refuse to be beaten by any puzzle in any game ever, right? Every puzzle, simple, easy, easy. Deacon? No, Deacon. No, Deacon. I've already given you epic tier loot, Deacon. Are we good? Are we good? Let's save it before the game explodes. We pull this lever and it crashes instantly. Easy. I told you guys. Now. I can get up out of the seat. It almost sounds like... Wait, what? Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. It almost sounds like dickhead when you say deacon. Deacon! Huh? I think the highlight of this stream is the occasional deacon that keeps pop popping up. Unbelievable. Huh? Listen, I got so excited, so carried away. My dogs need dinner. Okay, I'm going to go feed my dogs. 
See you guys in like four hours when I've fed them. Don't you get up to no good while I'm not here. Okay. Security, take everybody's credit cards away. Everyone's credit cards. Leave no one with any capabilities. None. A new legend is born.
Hey. Welcome. To everybody who's just come into the chat, listen. A very important announcement to make, right? Flux. 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 Legend. 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 And thank you for using a prime on me, dude. Thank you, dude. I appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, Spontaneous, thank you for the bit. Anonymous chair for the five bits. Seagoat for the four bits. Lime wiki for the 100 bits. Seagoat with the one bit. Security. 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 You guys are fired. Terrible job. Listen. Listen, hang on a minute. A new legend is born. Ooh. Umbuki. 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 Legend. 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 Now, I got I have to make an announcement. Thank you Umbuki for gifting that tier 1 to Peer Force 1. Oh my god. Some of you may be wondering, like, maybe, wondering, hang on a minute, who is that announcer? Who is that voice? Who is the, who is that amazing voice? Upon follows, upon subs, tier one, tier two, tier three subs, who the hell is that? Who is that cool voice, man? That's right. Think about it. Where have you heard that voice before? Huh? Let me tell you. Dude. It is none other. It is none other than Wayne June. The voice actor. The narrator. From Darkest Dungeon. Oh my god, dude. It has been so cool working with this guy, dude. So cool. Did a bunch of, a bunch, a whole bunch of voice work with him. So I'm slowly upgrading everything and integrating it into the channel. I did the follow alerts and the sub alerts today. I've got other stuff to add in as well. And, um, oh man, I, I can't wait to get it all in the channel. Honestly, I can't wait to get it all here. And I'm going to get him to do a whole bunch more too. It's just so good, man. So good. And and he's such a cool dude as well. It's such a pleasant, a pleasant dude to work with. What a champion. How cool is that, man? How cool is that? Freaking Wayne June, dude. <laughs> Lime Wookie, thank you for the 100 triangles, man. Thank you, dude. The 100 doggies? <sighs> anyway, that was my that was my big gigantic amazing announcement, okay? Wayne Oh, man, the best, dude. The absolute best. Oh my god, a belt. There's no way that's better than my belt, right? There's just no way. There's no way. There's, there's no way. Cloud giant strength? Wait. Oh, strength eight. Oh, but I've got storm giant strength. Strength 10. Do I really, do I really have to sell everything? Okay, wait, can somebody tell me this? I, I, I don't mind if someone tells me this right now. But do I have to... You think this is a game, huh? Puzzler? Yeah, that's right. You just fell out of the sky to your death. Instantaneous death. Weapon ineffective? No. 
There is no way. Okay, you know what? Do I even have a ring that can cast knock? The commander's ring, right? Alright dudes, I'm heading out to have a peaceful 2020 legendary Seagoat. Thank you. Appreciate the bits. Thank you, thank you. And enjoy. Enjoy the rest of your night. What am I going to do here? Studded leather armor plus five. Let's let's uh let's throw this up here, right, just for a second. Let's take that. Let's talk to Deacon. Hide armor plus seven. Okay. So here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna go to Deacon's second page. I'm gonna open up my I don't know. Let's let's just do this. Deacon can't carry very much. Okay. I don't think Nathira can either. A hundred pounds. <sighs> we got any more cloaks? How much does hide armor weigh? A lot. How much do these boots weigh? Okay. We can offload... We can offload many pairs of boots. Now we've got tons. Are you kidding me? We've got tons of room. Like oodles of room. Oodles. Like it's like it's ridiculous how much room we've got. See that? Easy. I am carrying 2,613 pounds. I'm carrying three ton on my back, mate. That's what that is. Right, that's about three ton. It's about five ton. Let's just make it seven. Make it a nice even seven ton. Okay, we've got space everywhere. We listen. It's not even worth it. Oops. Okay, so so there's something weird is here. Um, all I wanted, right, was to know why on earth. Nathira was attacking my gin. Once again, you have summoned me, mortal. What do you need? Do you wish to see what items are? Why are these guys? Why are they actually attacking them? Why are you guys fighting, dude? Yes, is there something you need? Change your tactics. Defend me and don't attack until I do. Deacon. Change your tactics, defend me, and don't attack until I do.
Once again, you have summoned me, mortal. What is it you need? What is going on here? Attacking the djinn. Why? Have I... Am I like... Why are they attacking the djinn? This is the first Neverwinter Night stream I've gotten to. How are you finding it? It's nostalgia, dude, 100%, right? It's still a great game. Biggest problem is that the port somehow to PS4 is a very buggy. There's been an unacceptable amount of crashes in the DLCs. Um, the actual main game, however, has been was fine. I think the main game had like a place that I could crash the game every single time. Like it had a no, but it was like a known bug. Um, and you could 100% crash the game if you did it. But the DL, and, and aside from that, it was fine. But um, the DLCs, man, holy crap, dude. Stand your ground. Stand your ground. I have never had to do this before. Once again, you have summoned me, mortal. What is it? You of course. Ah. Wait, I'm still, I'm still selling. He's aggro to them. What's happened here, dude? I actually don't know what's going on. That's a bug. It's amazing that Wayne June was able to do some voice recordings for you nicely. Oh, thank you, dude. Yeah, freaking amazing, man. Honestly. So cool, man. Super nice guy as well. And it's just so fitting, right? I, I could, I was looking for voice acting and I was looking through voice actors and it just it just kind of like worked out in some random way dude and it just it just fit it just fits so perfectly i i could couldn't be more blown away man honestly and when i when they when they first arrived dude when they first like showed up dude i was like how has this happened how has this happened? How do I have... This legendary dear... This legendary tier dude... Right here... Talking about like... Sub alerts... On my... My freaking... My stream... Mind-boggling, dude. Mind-boggling. <sighs> I 
Okay, let's go. Let's stop slowing down here. I don't know what's going on. Um, he's bugged out. I guess I... Oops. Follow. Follow. Let's go. Oh. Let's go. Puzzler. 125. 128. This is how we do. That guy flew off into a whole other dimension. 46 gold. Oh no, he didn't. What the hell? King, what's up, man? Welcome, dude. Uh, yeah, so over this next week, uh, I'll be slowly adding in all of the voice work from Wayne. Um, it's going to be so cool once I get it all in there, man. I've got some new artwork and stuff coming through as well. I'll have some new goals up on the new, uh, like, sub goals and unlocks and things like that. Coming soon. Yay, we get to, like, I get to, like, hey, what the hell? Hey, you guys aren't listening to my, my wishes, man. I said, right? Hey. Oh my god. What's going on here? Hey. Do I... You shall fall. Yeah, what do you think about that, huh? How do you like that 134? Yeah, I think the AI has just gone to, gone to the shits now. It really has. Oh, I can use it to snatch up some treasure. Very good. Save and restart? Yeah, maybe. I'll, I'll do it next time I need to. Um... Is this guy going to jump up? Is he really going to fly over here? One forty-eight. Okay, that's the biggest. That's the biggest hit so far. That is the new record for Von Hammerhands. Come on, I'm waiting for that 150, man. I'm waiting so patiently for that 150. I know it's gonna happen. For the seer. What? Oh, these guys are... Hey, what the hell? How do we... Yeah, that's right. Get over here, man. That's right. Death. 
will we see Tommy under Gallows in hell? Oh my god, that would be hilarious if he is in hell, dude. Okay, let me save this. Why is that my... my... There is a few bugs, uh, like, showing up right now, man. Like... I don't know what that hit was. I didn't see it. Hundred and thirty, huh? <laughs> Some kind of magical stuff. Oh my god, dude. <gasps> Triple crit. Where does this guy think he's going? Huh? Why do these guys seriously not follow, any follow me anymore? They're like Tommy Undergallows the second. How dare they? <laughs> Have I played Nice? Yeah, Nice Your Republic? Definitely. A very long time ago, but yes. Guardian of the Fall. Oh, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Okay, it's time. Are we going to be able to kill this guy? Let's do it. Let's get rid of the map. Let's get a big chat log going. Oops. Two second guardian. Jubilation. Easy. Easy. Weapon master power. bloodied note. The sheet of paper is brittle with age, softened only by the blood of the guardian who held it. Two sets of handwriting alternate down its length as if from some magical correspondence. A portion of the end is still legible. My mustache is giving me hell right now. That's not what the paper says. I've tracked the... <laughs> I've tracked the meddling planeter to some kind of sepulcher below the ice, my lord, but... Have lost all trace of him from there. Find him. But my lord, there's nothing left to find. He is gone. Then wait for him. And if he doesn't return this way, I said wait there. For him or anyone else who may come after. But my lord, your mewling bores me, guardian. I said wait. If I have different orders for you, I'll send them. The ink is old and faded. It seems those orders never came. What was this guy? Death Slard? Um, wait, this is the fight, this is the fight music. Huh. Can 
I search any of these guys? I can't. The Knower of Places. <gasps> oh my god, I thought I was about to die. We only have we only have one question, right? So I'm gonna save this just in case I I misclick or something. Yes. Who is this? Amidst the chaos of the place, you spy a woman's face, a butterfly's wings, a, a coquettish glance. What the hell? I've never heard that word. Coquette. Coquettish glance. It seems that. The sleeping man's ring has led you a long last to the knower of places. I come of my own accord. You're a cord. It's like a ball of string. A ball of countless cords. Not your own at all. You don't have his wings. You don't wear his skin. But you'll ask questions all the same. You have his ring, you see. Is she crazy, boss? But come, Planetar, my friend. My only friend, my one true friend in all this world. Let us talk together of old times. A million questions, but none of where. You asked that question once already. Never more. Where is the knower of names? I can only ask one. Um... Oh, do I say, tell me about your sister, the knower of names? Or do I say, where is the knower of names? But that's a where question, boss. No fear, you cheat. Please, my precious planet, it breaks my heart to see you beg me. So I cannot tell you that you know how true that is. I told you long ago. Oh, no. Why can't you tell me? Because that question involves a where, and I told you yours already. Long ago, when I last saw you, only one, I told you then. Only one question, only one answer. I told you that, my planetar. I'm not your planetar. Perhaps not. Perhaps you come here with your own desires and needs, separate from those of my fair planetar. But it's a pretty thing to believe that he might come back for me. Very well, two answers I'll give you then. The first answer lies in the ring that led you here. Let its three bands of hope be tempered with this fourth band that I have fashioned from my despair. It will lead you to her prison as this has led you here. A look at the sleeping man's ring. You glance at the ring upon your finger. The three golden bands that have always been there are now entwined with what appears to be a grasping black tendrils frozen, fro frozen? frozen in place as cold as iron. Thank you. If you love somebody, set them free, for otherwise your heart shall be clutched between their teeth forevermore. Let their freedom become your own. Look at the sleeping man's ring. A second answer. You are not the first to seek their prison, not the first to find it. Time is a twelve-spoked wheel, and with every hour of our lives, another spoke has come and gone. Ooh. In the passing of seven spokes, a hole was dug and a fearsome devil freed. Had the digging been done but sixteen spokes the sooner, it would have uncovered what you need. Uh huh? Hey, thanks for nothing! You answer us with riddles, make it plain! It is what it is, my planet. Uh, maybe with the passing of the spokes you will understand. Thank you. No, do not thank me. Forget me. That would be better, I think. Yes, forget me, my planetar. And with the passing of the spokes, maybe I will forget you. Get out of my face. I unequipped the wrong one. What? <sighs> <sighs> Here. 
here we are. Six. Oh my god, dude. Eight. What? Frost giants? <gasps> oh. Oh, oh, oh. Hundred seventeen, hundred seventeen, hundred seventeen, hundred seventeen. I want to see that one fifty. I can't believe this. This loot. Let's go down this way, right? I stroll shaman. You hear that, so <laughs> Ooh, Debris. No. What is all this, um, Am I still going to get blasted with freezing coldness in here? I am. Oh shit, dude. Are you kidding me? Oh man. Double 130. Oh. Dude, there's so much satisfaction. Huzzah, right? 4k gold. Beautiful. Just use a hot drink. No, I should be. I stroll berserker. Slot. I love it. I love it. Oh, man. Do the <laughs> Take that belt. Um, yeah, I do. Um, I needed the puzzle ring equipped so I could see fancy chests. Uh, now that I've got all the chests. Easy. Now we can sleep.
Ross Baxter, welcome, dude. How are you, man? Hope you're doing well, dude. Hope you had a good Christmas, New Year's. Oh, Deacon, 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 Deacon. Look, identify, dude. Oh, what do we got? Padded armor plus seven. The sash of searing. Check it out. 90% immune to fire. Improved saving throws versus fire by seven. Only usable by chaotic. Delayed blast fireball. Use dragon breath. Use epic spell hellball once per day. Use firestorm. Use at level 18. Use flame strike level 18. Use incendiary, incendiary cloud 15. Use inferno and sunburst at level 20. Five times a day. It's a good belt. It's a good belt, I guess. I mean, you know. Eh. 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 Well, whatever. Demon flesh shield. That's a plus eight shield. Acid, cold, electrical, fire, sonic. Usable by cleric, druid, fighter, paladin. That shield is insane. AC 52. Check this out. Deacon. Check this out. AC 57. Oh my god. Oh my god. That could be the lowest AC or the most AC I think I've ever had. I can't remember, of course, but. Damn, dude. 57 AC. Wow. Save the game? Yes. What can even hit you at that point? I have no idea. I'm still getting hit now though. And my AC is 49. Yeah, she's taking damage. She's fine. Yeah, it's freezing, freezing cold here. You, you can't get through there, man. Oh, you dum-dums. Okay, you guys muck around that way. If you die, I mean, it's not my fault. That guy has crazy damage reduction. What? Wow, that giant only had 40 gold pieces. What kind of giant was that? Fire Elemental Scout. Easy. 
Wait, what? Oh. You shall fall. Giants are weak in Neverwinter. Weak source. Hey, what the hell? How do I get across there? My hand? do I get across there, man? Yo, okay. I guess we can't get across there. Maybe it's like, maybe I have to f fly across with like pixie form or something. Listen, if you guys are just going to stand there, I mean, that's on you, dude. 147. One hundred and forty-seven. <sighs> Giants are weak in Neverwinter Nights. Yeah, it's true. Can you use the plus 12 katana? Uh, wait, what for? This guy? My AC is going to go down. Life is forfeit. <gasps> Mephistopheles! I think you're cool, huh? This guy thinks he's cool, dude. He's got absolutely nothing, you'll see. I guarantee you I'm gonna two-tap him. When that fight happens, dude. It's gonna be like, bada-bing! Look, they killed me, man. They attacked me first. Let's let the record show that. Is you staring at Deacon? Every time I looked, you'd be watching me. Yes, I suppose I have been watching you, or to be more accurate, studying you. I'm trying to learn what your edge is. Edge, what you mean? Deacon elbows kind of bony, but they not got edges. Deacon. You're a survivor, Deacon. I'm not sure how you do it, though. You're small and weak, and you come across a bit simple. And you're far too trusting and innocent. The theorist shakes her head in frustrations. By all rights, you should have been dead and buried long ago. And yet, somehow... Somehow you manage to keep going. It defies all logic. The kobold looks confused. Is Drow Lady mad at Deacon? Deacon do something wrong? Is that your secret? Blissful ignorance? No, it has to be an act, a cover. There's more to you than meets the eye. There has to be. And I'm going to figure it out. I'm watching you, Deacon. The kobold smiles. You watches me? You want Deacon sing so you not get bored? No, no, don't sing. Hmm. Maybe this isn't an act. Maybe you're just one of those mysteries no one is ever going to understand. You know what, Deacon? Just forget I said anything. Deacon nods and gives Nathira a thumbs up. No problem, Drow Lady. Deacon forgets what we're talking about already. Wow. Deacon is Deacon. Who is this guy? Dan Dan and Dan. Wait, is this is this us? 
This frustrating ladies. Ooh. Get back this way. Come on, you guys. Don't you try and let me. We're not leaving behind any loot, you think? guys dude I know who's your favorite character in uh damn it what's that anime Baylor Lord destroyed Ross Giant God 134 absolutely slaughtered Fiend. Done. Where is my ring? Where is my, my, my good ring? Is that it? Wait, are we not taking damage in here? Oh. Was that volcanic eruption close to you guys? Nah, man. Miles. Under like... Six hour drive. Six, seven hour drive from here. Plus like... It's ten... Like... Ten Ks offshore as well. So it's, it's like, even for the people who are on shore, like directly across from the volcano, nothing. Right. It's, it's like way out at sea, basically. Volcanic eruption. Yeah, there's uh Hey wait, what the hell was that there? What the hell is this up here? What is this? Is there something here? No? Huh, weird. A couple of weeks ago, yeah, 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 a couple of weeks ago. So, there is a, there is an island called White Island. That is about 10, 10, to like 12 kilometers offshore. And you see, Bebelith. Yo. Oh, you remember me? Yeah, you remember me? That's right. That's what happens. Wait, we got all sorts fighting here. Dude, this is just a giant, a giant free-for-all. You guys okay? I'll help you out. Look, I'll help you out. Oh, 
Holy crap, dude. These pit fiend. He doesn't even care that I'm just like absolutely obliterating him. God, dude, what is that guy right there? Baylor Lord? Boulder? Man, what is happening here? Are these guys just gonna keep spawning in? Am I getting like a ton of EXP here or, or like nothing? I don't think I'm actually getting any EXP. 362.6. 362.6. I guess I could turn into a, an earth elemental and explore. But we don't want that, right? <sighs> um. Oh wait, sorry. Hey, hang on a second here. Can I throw the... Is this where I... Uh, is this where I throw my hand out? Let the feast begin. I don't know if we got anything from that fight. Oh, you know what? Uh, hang on a minute. Oh, there's the arrows, dude. Yeah, 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 yeah. I knew it. Who are these guys? I'm in hell. This is Has von Hammerhands, the Devil Slayer of Waterdeep. Silence, Slayer, I will show you pain beyond belief. Yes, yes, great one. Oh, you guys don't want to know, dude. You don't want to know. Come on. Really? Guys. Oh, who is this? Wait, that was Nathira. Why were you why were you in that cutscene? Hey, these guys are actually hitting me. This is an absolute massacre. Wait, is this unlimited? Am I am I missing something here? Are 
you think this oh i great cleave those whole oh my god dude trust me you, you guys you can't win you can't win That's it, they've run out. Where the, where's the rest of your entire... Where's the rest, man? You can throw like triple this number. Come on. Yes, please. Now this guy is here. Huh. Now this guy is here. Guardian of the path. Hello, young man. about to make my move and lay claim to Toral. Perhaps the Tenari have caught wind of this, for I have just received word that they are launching an assault near where I have stationed you. Stray catapult fire from the battlefield has already melted through the ice and freed one of my treacherous generals. Make your way to the prison and fend the Tenari off at all costs. The last thing I need is some fool demon getting his paws on my knower of names. Serve me well and I may give you lordship over Waterdeep once it is mine. It appears this particular front of the blood war has opened just before he left your home world of Toral. Listen, uh... We just got a brand spanking new bastard sword. What is this? Brimstone! Forged in the flames of Bator, Brimstone was a prize given by the archdevil Mephistopheles to the one general who remained loyal to him during Kania's ill-fated Molochroth Rebellion. Its mighty ashen blade is pitted and scarred from the fires that have called for eons about its jagged edge. What is... Is this 2d8 plus 2d... What is this, man? I need to equip this weapon. I need to equip this weapon while I've got my stats up. Hang on. Hang on a minute. So this thing does... Wait, it does bludgeoning damage? What? How does it do three bludgeoning damage? It does plus seven. Wait, how does how does this work? How does this sword do three bludgeoning damage? How am I doing three bludgeoning damage? What's going on here? Maybe. 2d6 fire 7. Nah, 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 nah. We're, we're way beyond this. It's a good sword. And it's got an epic backstory. But we kind of like made better swords in the forge. <laughs> That's kind of sad. Hitting with that flat side. Melfria, hello. Welcome. How are you? Okay, so what do I do now? Frozen prisoner. There's somebody underneath here? How do we get this guy out of here? <sighs> oh, hang on a minute. Hang on a minute. I got to equip my ring. 
The ring will showeth the way. Where is it? Where are the arrows at? Here we go. Easy. Drunk, huh? <sighs> Imbibed. Right? Sampled a little bit. Somebody take Malfrey's credit cards away. Um. Okay, let's see what's going on here. going on here uh, hey, where's my necklace earth elemental human form. Come on. Let's go. You throw that catapult across the galaxy, man. Wait, how do we get back across now? Oh, I see. It's back over that side. Why are we taking so much damage, dude? It's increasing. It's doing nine now. What? Fire the catapult. Uh, are we good? Oh my gosh. Pit fiend prisoner. Wait, what? Frozen prisoner. Oh my god. Okay, just give me, give me a second. Give me a second. I need to make sure that I'm getting all the loot, okay?
Okay, I'm pretty sure that that one right there is, is the knower of names. So we're going to open up all the other ones. Let me get out of here. Get out of my face. I don't think that we're actually earning any XP here, man. Yeah, hardly any. We're level 27, but... We're like, not really... Not really earning anything here. Just one second, guys. Hang on a minute. this guy out of here all right oh oh hold up let's take a nap in the middle of this gigantic demon war right just set up camp get some sausages on the pan on the fire Okay, give me one second, guys. I need to just help Lana with something. Give me one second. I'll be, be right back.
Pin Quinn. Mechanic Boy and welcome, ma'am. How are you, dude? Hope you had a good New Year's. <clears throat> you love the new emote? <laughs> Anonymous. Thank you for the one, the two, the three, the four, the five, the six, the seven, the eight, the nine, the ten. Thank you, man. I appreciate those ghost bits. Thank you. What are we doing? Fire the catapult. Okay. Fire the cannibal. Ooze. Nothing in there. Okay, okay, okay. Another pit fiend, huh? Okay, so 365, 250. 365, 250. Yeah, I'm getting like a hundred and something. Are you kidding me? For a potion? One, two, three, four, five, six. I've got six more to go. Clockwise. Fire it. What if I can just, like, keep firing it? And just keep bringing all these monsters out, right? Summon all of these pit fiends at the same time. Because one is just pathetic. We need something. We need, we need a challenge. Man, we are literally killing... This is on hardcore. Make no mistake, this is on hardcore. I want to blow open all of the holes, right? Every single one. I want to open them all up. We'll fight all the enemies. goodies potion of speed wait what wait who the hell is The knower of names, what? Suddenly the knower of names is there before you, pale, white, and triumphant. Her youthful features shine beneath the icy pallor of her skin and she leans towards you, whispers in your ear. Um... You must be mistaken. My name is Herz von Hammerhands. When it comes to names, there is no mistake that I can make. That is as much my gift as it is my curse. Oh, she just spoke my true name. The name you speak is the one you have given yourself. The name I speak is the one given you by the gods. Guard it jealously for it has cost you much. There is another name I wish to know. Ah, true names. Every name has its price, and every price a name. The gods declare it so. Now, whose true name do you wish to know? Um, mine. I just told you yours, you dumbass.
Deacon's true name. No, 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 because this is power. I don't, I don't want to know these guys. I don't want to know Deacon's true name. If I know Deacon's true name, that means I can, like, I can, like, I have all power over. I don't want to know that. I can know the Reaper's true name. Gruel the quarry boss? <laughs> oh my god, dude. My one true love. She's gonna be like, it's Deacon. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. I just need to know Mephistopheles' true name, dude. I want to know yours. <sighs> oh man, the knower of names. If I know yours, then you can tell me all. Uh, let's, let's say, let's say yours. The gods demand a sacrifice of 200,000 gold if you are to learn my true name. Are you willing to make that sacrifice? Not right now, Noah. Oh my god. Goodbye. I only have 200,000. I have a lot of cash though, but I can't... Let, let, hang on a minute. <laughs> stop it. All right, stop. Save the game. Let's just... Let's just push on, right? I want to know my one true love's name. 300,000 gold? We can't know what my one true love's name. I want to know the Reaper's true name. I can sense that this is the name you truly seek. The gods demand a strange price for it, though. There are two items that have aided you in your quest, a ring and an amulet. You must surrender them. The puzzle ring and the sensei's amulet. They they may have them. No, if I give if I give you those rings, I'm stuck here, dude. I I needed to use Oh no, I only needed to use the hands to get here. No, that's not true. I needed to, to to turn into a pixie to get here. So how do I get out? No. No. I don't want to know the Reaper's real name. Arden Swift's Gruel. Oh my god. What happens if I put Deacon's? Yeah, Deacon wants to know his too. This is exciting, right boss? Like when Grandma would pour through chicken entrails to tell Deacon's fortune. The gods demand a sacrifice of 200,000 gold. What? Are you kidding me? What happens? What? Deacon's name worth twice that, boss. Three times. Deacon, you calm down. Nathira. I'm frightened, Haz. For the first time since I was a child, since I found the seer, I've thought my destiny to be my own. I am free. Free of the house rivalries. Free of the sisters. Free of the Valsharess. I cannot help but look upon this true name of mine as a new slavery. Strange as it may seem, Haz, I've come to love my life, and now I find I would hate to give it up. 
Oh, man. Thank you. I would rather not have such knowledge weighing upon your heart. Oh, my God, dude. It's true. What happens if I say Mephistopheles then? The one thing that could have unraveled my love's duplicity during the false rebellion would have been the realization that he and Baron Molochroth were one and the same. He took steps to ensure that the truth would never come to light and he forbade me to ever speak his name. Forgive me and my heart that loved him. But that is one name I cannot tell you. Well, if there's one name that can, then then it has to be the Reapers because that's the only way I can get home. If I know the Reaper's true name, then the Reaper can send me back to where I was supposed to be, right? Because so I have to kill Mephistopheles. Uh, okay, so yours. Let me let me see what happens. I saved it, right? I saved it, so let's see. Though you know me as the knower of names, I am called Fureshi, the knower in the God's tongue. Is there any another you wish to... Fureshi? Back to my other questions. Don't ask who... I know who you are. By freeing me, you have paid the price for your own. Thus have I spoke... Wait, why do you call me the light? Uh, uh, listen, listen, listen. Two hundred thousand for that? Pathetic. Load my game. I thought there was going to be something fancy there. Right. Just imagine a mind flare invading your mind and taking your true name. It would be like GG life. Yeah, it's true. Arabeth's true name. 200,000 gold. Boom! The one you know as the Lady Arabeth is called Va'adalia, the twin sold in the God's tongue. Oh, that's so cool, dude. You are called Ebola the Kind. What? Dude, what if I get here and I'm a blackguard? And I've slaughtered everyone and I've chosen the most evil. You still going to call me Abelar the kind and I have to be like. What if it's Abelar the wicked? All right, load. Time to re-roll. If you had her true name, I know that's what I thought. That's what I thought, man. I thought that's what it was going to be. Um, Nathiris, should I force? What happens? Let's, let's, Deacon. Do it, do it, and don't forget to tip boss. The one you know as Deacon is called Exeria the Scale Singer in the Gods. That's it. Exeria the Scale Singer. Okay, I'm gonna go for I'm gonna go for um <sighs> Ask the Noah's true name and then ask for Mephistopheles. Yours. Boom. Mephistopheles. Speak Mephistopheles true name, Freshy the Noah. Very well, though, the gods must still have their price, and for one such as him, it was always high. Are you willing to sacrifice 500,000 gold to learn Mephistopheles' true name? You can force her to tell you. No. Load. No, I'm going the Reaper route, man. I'm going the Reaper route. Stop it. The Reaper. The P 
puzzle ring and the sensei's amulet. Oh, sorry, sorry. There's one more I want to try. There's one more I want to try. I want to try Nathiris. Then it is done. My fate sealed once again. The one you know as Nathira is called Kefalia the Sky Seeker. Kefalia the Sky Seeker. That's kind of cool, Kefalia. That's a cool name. Any other names we want to know? Gruel the qu Quarry Boss? A hundred thousand. The one you know as Gruel the Quarry Boss is called Gargle Floor, the Vile. What's my one true loves? It's 300,000, huh? Okay. Let's load. Listen, I'm just, let's just carry on. This is ridiculous. Let's, let's move on. Arden Swift is dead. One true loves cost too much. Uh get ghosted can you not come back when you're rich no i don't think you can there's no way for me to get back here the reaper the one you know as the reaper of kanya is called heku goth the abandoned i must return to the city of lost souls can you get me there I can. Ebola, the kind, you have found the name that you have sought. Go now to the city of lost souls that you might there pursue your destiny. Yes? Why have you come here? Have you found my one true love? I'm here to thank you. I'm here to kill you! <gasps> thank me, but for what I've done... I've been asleep for countless years and have done little but wait. What could I have possibly done to deserve your thanks? You have been a force of good in the in hell's own depths. You helped me find the Reaper's true name. The Reaper? I do not even know of whom you speak, but if I have helped you in some small way, then I suppose that you are welcome. Is there more that I can do for you, perhaps? You've been an unwitting participation, uh, participant in my plans for domination. You have taught me something about myself. I've done nothing of the sort. If you have learned something, you have done so by the power of your own ingenuity and the passion you hold for truth. Give credit to where it is due, my friend. I like this guy. I like this guy, man. I like this guy a lot. I'm a big believer just like that. We gotta know who the sleeping man's one true love is, please. Really? Okay, hang on a minute then. Why? Why? The sleeping man's. That of the sleeping man's one true love. 300,000 gold! Oh, 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 man. Once again, you have, of course. Oh. I'm just going to have to sell off. Just for the sake of, of this save game, okay? I'm going to load it again. Yo! 
Yo, what? What? <laughs> what? What? Nathara, is that true? Me, I, I don't know. He's an angel and I'm a drow. The gods do not lie. That's wonderful. I must return to tell him. Oh, oh my god. Okay, in that case, listen. Listen, listen. In that case, we need... I need to load this game. Okay, I need to sell off some key things, right? Let's try and make up the 300k for the name. Okay. Let's see if we can make up the cash without selling off anything too ridiculous. Okay. Oh, we don't want to sell that. Okay, page two. Nope. Mace plus six. Nope. Ring of protection plus six. Potion of speed. We are bleeding out here, man. We got 260k. is going to die. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. I'm going to have to sell one of these things. I was about to die, so I couldn't do it. Because we've got 300k. Save test. We're, we're doing it. Okay, I'm going to learn that name. Uh, so let's first lo let's learn our, our one true loves, right? 300,000. Your one true love is called Cassanduria the Beautiful in the Gods. You do not know her yet, though someday you will. Her name is music to my ears. No, it can't be! Someone I don't know yet, is that true? The Gods do not lie. It can't be. Love is a hard, hard thing, but I admit this is not the reaction I expected. The Gods have seen fit to bless you with a true love to call your own. Why do you fight this? My heart loves another. As I warned you, knowledge has its price. You have asked to see what the gods have written upon the stars, and I have told you. Now you must live with the consequences. Is there more? <gasps> okay, we're loading. Okay, I'm going to get 
the sleeping man's okay that of the sleeping man 300,000 gold Oh my god it changes <gasps> I killed her I killed her, dude. <laughs> what? That's wonderful. I must return to tell him. Oh my god. This is horrible. This can't be happening. Why? What is the matter, Hellwalker? She's dead. Oh no. <laughs> no! No 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 we reload we reload we reload no 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 none of that none of that I don't want I don't even want to attempt that Lady Arabeth Should I do that, actually? Dude, they would make an amazing couple. They would make an amazing couple, dude. <laughs> dude! Does this mean Deacon might get lucky here? Oh my god, Lady Arabeth. Okay, let's 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 go with this. Dude. Yes. I have learned the name of your one true love. It is for Ardalia the twin soul, the spirit known as Lady Arabeth. Arabeth, he says, turning their name upon his tongue. Do you know her? In life, it is said she brought great evil upon my home world. Enough to know that you will be happy together. <gasps> and that is all I ask. You have my thousand thanks for giving me her name after all these many years. But if I know the name of my one true love, it, it means that it must mean that she draws near. I've slept long enough and now I must prepare for her coming. Thank you, my friend, and pray excuse my absence. do I even do now go back to the portal now that I know the reapers uh... okay but but check this out but check this out check this out now we go to the pub okay now we go to the pub and we get to actually make some serious cash, okay? None of this tippity tap stuff. Now we get to make some serious dinero. Von Hammerhands the third. Here we go. Oh man, his true love lies dead at his feet. That, oh my god. Here we go, dude. 
What is this selling for? 50k? <laughs> Dude, this dragon is the best merchant in the game. This dragon is the best merchant in the game. 46,000. 50,000. I can't, I can't even wear it. No one can wear this. I'm just selling it. I'm selling all of this stuff now. Watchman's helm. Gone. The helm of righteousness. I can't even wear this. Sold. Merkel's helmet. Sold. Ring of protection plus six. Let's leave that one there. 50k for a plus six mace? Astral Blade, 50k. The Black blow, black Bow of Bator. This Astral Blade, by the way, awesome for, uh, for Arabeth. I'm just selling it. 100 grand right there. Easy. Half Plate plus 7, 50k. Blood Plate, 50k. Cassiel's soul, 50k. Radiant death. I'm going to hold on to that. Searing armor, 50k. Demon flesh shield, I'm holding that. Dwarven war axe, 50k. Soul drinker keeping that, of course. Slasher of Koth, 50. Hammer of the glacier, 50. What does this do? I love that. It just, it, it's not even a roll to see how much cold damage it does. It's just like, it does 20 cold damage. End. Oh man, can you imagine if something was imbued with that? Like, oh man. Just a flat 20? Damn, dude. Maroc, how are you, man? Welcome, dude. Hope you had a good Christmas. <sighs> Nemesis. Scale mail plus five. Brimstone, right here. Look at my broadsword collection. And my bastard sword collection. Where's the other one? Soul Drinker. Look at this. Dragon Slayer, Nameless Light, Blood Letter, Brimstone, and Soul Drinker. Damridge Patel. Hey, thank you for the host, man. Thank you, dude. Tower shield plus six, that's a plus nine shield. But what is this one? That's a plus eight shield. But it does a bunch of other stuff. And spell resistance. Um. Yeah, I think I'll sell this. 30k. No worries. Right, check this out. Let's see how much I can buy some of this stuff for. One million. Oh no, 187k. 440k for Cassiel's soul. Five, half a million. 749,000. Oh man. One million gold. Half 
half a million. 145, half a million. 600,000. 144, 330. Damn, I tell you what, still nothing even close. Nothing even close to that mace, dude. Nothing even close. That mace was 2.3 million. That mace, does that make that mace the best weapon in the game? Seller's remorse. <laughs> you're just like, you're going to pay me 50k and then throw it up on your freaking store for sale for 450,000. That's how this works down here, huh? That's how we do business down here, huh? I see. I got you. No, 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 no. Quiet. I see. I see what you're saying. I hear it. Freedom region. Hey, where the hell is my magical resistance ring, dude? Is this it? Scarab of Protection plus six. E Sprite. Happy New Year, dude. Welcome to the year 2020, man. So now we have almost 1 million gold. We legit had almost a million gold worth of loot. Oh, by the way, I guarantee you that this, this one right here, this plus 12 katana, this plus 12 katana, I guarantee you if I sold that, that would be worth over a million dollars. Hands down. A million easy. One milli. Look at that, isn't that? Look at it, look at it. <sighs> Sell that. Another fifty K. We capped a million. Jintia, what's up, dude? How are you, man? Happy New Year, dude. We have over one million gold. Wait, what? What the hell just happened? Some say I can be quite stuck in the past. Oh, jeez. Well I want to upgrade a weapon. The weapon you are wielding already has many powerful enchantments. I cannot risk to work on such a powerful item. It would be too dangerous. What kind of inventory you got now, man? What are you rocking? <gasps> thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. What is... What are we... Oh, man. You know what? Oh. Full plate plus six. Six. 
Hang on a minute. The iron skeleton. It's the same. What kind of bastard swords you got in here? Yo, what are those? Bastard sword plus six. Bastard sword plus five. I should have been wielding. I should have become like some half-orc barbarian. Like barbarian weapon master and just been wielding a fat greatsword, right? Just be clubbing enemies down with the singular massive blows. Time to re-roll. Start again from the very beginning. What do you think? Go on this journey all over again. Easy. funny we could like go inside that camp right now and just be like i know your name dude i mean we couldn't because we didn't learn it but you know what i'm saying right you know what i'm saying um, okay. firearms you take it easy man have a good one dude Wait, why is Valen killing me? Why is Valen killing me, dude? What the hell happened? Why is Valen killing me? Am I bad? What's going on here? Why did Valen attack me, dude? Should I go? Actually, there's one thing that I wanted to go and see. Listen, I'm just go. I'm I'm moving forward. Let's go to this cave. Let's talk to Arabeth and say, hey, I know something about something. barely injured. Am I not going to be able to talk to Arabeth? Welcome back. Is there any way I can help? Not right now, Arabeth. Stay warm. Oh, dude. I thought there might be a little bit of dialogue or something. I don't know what's going on with Valen, dude, but he's gone. He's rigging gone as man. What happens if I use the rod of resurrection on him? Oh, it's gone. Okay, dude. Hail the dead. Listen. The familiar hooded figure of the Reaper bows as you approach, enigmatic as always. Distant flames flicker within his reflective, featureless face, and you shiver in spite of yourself. Hekugoth the Abandoned, I command you to grant me passage home.
will return you to the one you know as Durnan in Waterdeep, but before you go, is there anything else you would have me do? Oh my god, allow the spirits of the dead to haunt the living? What? You can, like, completely mess this world up. What the hell is going on here? What is going on? This is yummy. Call me Q, you're still in here? That's really awesome. The Reaper plays a sick game, what a psycho. Yeah, I'm not really a big fan of chicken thigh. That's very cool. I don't know why that excites me. I never played this game. It's been fun watching. That's very cool. I'm sorry that it's been buggy. Now I'm just eating food. Pro streamer, right? What happens if I allow the Gith Zerai pilgrims to return home? still tastes the same, I think. It still has that chicken thigh. You don't have to apologize, man. It's just something that I'm not that. <clears throat> it's, it's like, there's like a gamey flavor to chicken thigh that is not in chicken breast. You know what I mean? Like it's intrinsic to the actual meat. It's like, I don't know. It's not something that I think you can fix. It's not, it's not. And do you guys know what I'm saying? Or am I just like talking sh here, man? I'm also hungry due to this convo. The thigh is so tender and juicy. I like drumsticks better than thigh. Yep, I do. I do. Especially KFC. Marinade the chicken. That could be it. 
I need to get I need to get rid of that that thigh flavor, right? Remember when we'd bake drumsticks and eat them like Vikings? Mm-hmm. <clears throat> you can't tell them apart? So when you have like a, a baked chicken breast, you think that it tastes exactly the same as when you're having thighs? Why does only Viking laners sound badass, huh? <clears throat> Unacceptable. No backsies. No backsies. Oops. I guess you have quite the palate has <clears throat> very refined man got the taste buds of a something that has high powered taste buds whatever that is right that prefers caramel over chocolate Right. Highfalutin. Oh, that's kind of interesting, East Bright. <clears throat> Horses have 30% more sensitive taste buds. And why do you think they eat grass? I mean, have you eaten grass before? Tastes yuck, man. I've tried to nom down some grass before, man. I know what that's like. No, I was just, <clears throat> I was just saying that apparently horses have really sensitive taste buds. And then I was like, huh? If they had sensitive taste buds, why do they eat something so bitter like grass? <clears throat> All right. I don't know if I'm going to I'm going to do anything here. I think this is a very very evil a very very evil option. And I don't know about this one. 
I'm going to click it just in case. <clears throat> Allow the spirits of the dead to haunt the living. Allow the spirits of the dead to dead to to haunt the living. Should I do that? I'll click it. See what happens. If that is your wish, I shall make it so. Even death itself will no longer hold the spirits here. Is there anything else you would ask of me? That will be all. A word of warning before you go. By breaking the chains Mephistopheles placed upon you and stepping through that door. You forfeit the bond that brought you to this place. You will not see me again, nor lay your eyes upon the ice of Carnia. The Reaper bows deeply. It has been a pleasure to serve you. I wish you well. So cool, dude. So cool, man. I think this has definitely been the best, the best part of this game. I think the, the, the how they've like culminated this game towards this point has been really cool. <clears throat> Let's see what happens. Uh, Deacon? Deacon guesses this will be all over soon, right? We almost be out of here. Looks that way. And then what? We fights the bad guy? I guess there's no escaping that. It shall be a welcome reckoning, Nithara says. I look forward to fighting by your side, has yours as well, Deacon. You was awfully nice to say that, Alvin lady. You are a better fighter than you give yourself credit for. She looks about her at the hells. I, for one, would be glad to be away from this place of lost souls. They call to me. It's unsettling. Well, Deacon just wants to tell you, boss. Deacon's got full confidence that you're going to win. You is the greatest hero ever. Stop, Deacon. Stop. Right. Hey, just remember to write that down, okay? Re remember to write down what you just said. Write that many times in your book, Deacon. Right? Many, many times. We're a team, Deacon, remember? We're a team, Deacon. It's nice of you to say, boss. On to the end of the venture. Woohoo, let's go. Show you. No! Show you. No. Oh my god, show you sneaking into the room. You new you don't like the the emote? It's creepy. What is going on here? Come on, come on, come on. Teleport me into this battle, man. I'll clean all these guys up easily. These pitiful forces. Sweat beads on Dernan's face. He calls out orders, his voice almost lost in the dinner battle. He seems older than you remember him, and his shoulders sag with the weight of many defeats. He turns to you surprised. I've been to hells and back, Dernan. I have some unfinished business with Mephistopheles. Get in line, my friend. In hindsight, the drow encroachment on Undermountain was just a mask for an even greater horror. I've got burps now. I need a burping, right? Some giant needs to like pick me up and put him over his shoulder and then just gently tap on my back. Or I need one of these frost giants. Somehow the arch devil you speak of has been let loose upon the world. Ah, uh, boss, that was your fault. Deacon had nothing to do with it. 
We fight his minions even now. Some districts have held against their onslaught, but only where Mephistopheles himself hasn't joined in the battle. It's a war of movement now. We fight just to survive. Hey, Dernan, where's the 100,000 you promised me, man? I'll handle Mephistopheles. Where's my 100k? For saving Waterdeep from the drow? If the city still stands and I'm still alive to see it, you'll have earned that and more. Personally though, my bets are on Mephistopheles. You're betting on Mephistopheles? I just came back from hell. Dude. Hey, if this guy's the leader, we need to get this guy out of here, man. This negativity. And may the gods grant you strength. With every battle he grows in power, we've had reports that he's on his way here. I'll order my men to pull back when he arrives. You're our only hope. Step aside. Just step aside. Right. I can't do anything. Is this a cutscene? I didn't realize. I didn't realize. Did I even save it? Come on, Mephistopheles, how many seconds are you going to last? He bailed. He couldn't handle the power, dude. He couldn't handle the... Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. No instant death spells, please. Get this guy out of here. Mephistopheles. Oh, so he's immune to crits, huh? Oh, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Look at him, dude. I knew it, man. I knew it. This is it, man. This is the end of the game. This is the end of the Neverwinter Nights journey. Where is Mephistopheles? Where is he? Oh, 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 oh. oh, oh.
deacon died. You come before a duke of hell. Oozing blood and fire and pus from a thousand wounds. Mephistopheles lies in a crumpled heap on the ground. It doesn't look like he's lying down to me. Right? Game devs, what are you doing? What do you think this is? Huh? You think this is the year 2000 or something? Jesus. Uh, we're in the year 2020. His eyelids flicker open, catching you in their pitch black depths. It appears you have been my downfall, Morphla. I underestimated you. Next time I won't make the same mistake. Wait a minute. I don't have his real name. There won't be a next time. Kill him. A thousand EXP, that's it? The Feast of Fallen. Hardcore Mephistopheles. We did it, ladies and gentlemen. Cutscene. And so the tale is done. In the lore of an age that was famed for its heroes as well as its villains, your legend will live on. Scribes will read of your deeds in dusty tomes and marvel that ever there was a time where such an adventurer walked the face of Toro. It is said that the great archdevil Mephistopheles collapsed into dust and existed no more. The world shuddered with his passing and all grew still for a time, but bringing an end to such beings is rarely so simple. Some tales claim that Mephistopheles could never be completely destroyed on the material plane. It's true. They say his will lived on, and out of a desire for vengeance, his body was eventually reformed on the outer planes. A day of reckoning was sure to follow someday, though that is another tale. Look at this guy's hairstyle flapping around on his head. Right? Jiggle physics on that hair. Knowing how the tale ends, however, is only part of the story. There is evidence in the old tomes that tell of your fate in the years to come, the fate of your companions, and the effect your passing had upon the world. What? I didn't die? Are you kidding me? I lived forever. From the ashes of the Devil's Gambit, Waterdeep rose again, rebuilt and renewed with all the fervor of a vast and bustling city. Its place as the jewel of Faerun reclaimed. Reunited with his family, Durnan restored the yawning portal to its former glory. He hung a portrait of you upon the mantelpiece and told your tale to all who sought the fire's warmth. What the hell happened to me, man? If this guy's still alive, how come I'm not still alive? I was younger than this guy. Tommy? After his experience in Under Mountain, Tommy Undergallows left the Yawning Portal under suspicious circumstances and rumors of missing cutlery. Where he went from there is unknown, but tall tales of his exploits soon began to emerge. Tommy was said to be involved in a scheme to steal Elminster's pipe, and strangely, he was even reported to have ruled the pirate city of Luskin for a time. What? 
The truth of these tales is questionable at best, and only one story is said to have any real merit. It is claimed that, shortly after leaving Waterdeep, Tommy met his end at the hand of a rugged, giggling maniac known only as Sammy. <laughs> his friend! <laughs> Dude. Dude, his psycho friend! Oh man, that's great, dude. That's so good. The one that he betrayed when he was like a teenager or whatever. Oh, that's so good, man. Oh. Dude. Deep in the Underdark, the wake of your passing is still felt. The seer survived Mephistopheles' pillage of the region and her followers still search for those drow looking to escape the despair and treachery of their life, bringing those they find to a new existence on the surface. Thanks to the power of the shattered mirror that you left with her, her job is much easier than it once was. The Church of Alistrae grows steadily in strength, and your name is praised as a true friend of those who seek refuge from the shadows. Zorvac! Look at this guy, dude. With the death of their overmind, the illithid of Zorvac Mur easily fell prey to the treachery of their so-called allies. The alliance between the Illithid and the Drow died with the Valsheress. It was not long before all at the outpost were enslaved to rival Drow houses. Their psionic powers tightly controlled while the rest of their race returned to their previous doctrine of war against the lesser enemies. This is, this is great, dude. Drearing's Deep. Freed from... I like it. Actually, this guy kind of matches the portrait. Freed from both the, pri uh, the priesthood's brutal rule and the wrath of the Dracolich, Vixthra, the community of Drearing's Deep struggled mightily to provide a refuge amidst the many evil races of the Underdark. Countless village leaders died in battle, though their spirit was never broken. Rumors spoke of an addled but kind-hearted rock gnome who served as the community's true leader, masterminding its strategies from behind the scenes. Whatever the case, the freemen of Drearing's Deep survived battle after battle. In time, the city became a veritable fortress, a bastion of hope for those yet enslaved, and a proud beacon of freedom for those who had recently escaped. <gasps> oh, Kania. As for Kania, little change. Devils continued to mine their ice for the walls of Mephistar. The spirits of the dead continued to arrive and slowly join the ranks of the lost, and the vast glacial waste continued to hold the Noahs and their secrets close, buried deep beneath the glacial ice. Oh, man. <gasps> At long last, the sleeping man woke in the embrace of the woman he believed to be his one true love, his long dark night having finally reached its dawn. Together they traveled the plains, their lives an endless honeymoon free of worries or concern. Legends say they're out there still, charting a course between the distant stars. That's so cool! Him and Arabeth, dude! Oh my god! Dude! This is his wife. So good, man. Holy crap. Holy crap, dude. Oh my god, man. It's so good. This is so cool, man. Has Von Hammerhands. Saved from the destruction that would have been visited upon them by Mephistopheles, the citizens of Toral joined together in showering with you with their gratitude. A holiday was named in your honor, and in the days to come you would rise in power, becoming confidant to the lords of nations who sought counsel from the wisest of champions. Legends conflict in their claims of where you went after this, some saying you disappeared mysteriously, and some saying you rose to become a benevolent ruler. The only surety is that your name is uttered alongside the greatest heroes the realms have ever known. Done. 
done? How come we didn't hear about Deacon? How come we didn't hear about, uh, we didn't hear about Deacon and we didn't hear about, uh, Nithar Nithira? Man, dude. You didn't hear Deacon's story because he died. No way. No way. Oh, dude, that was freaking... That was awesome, man. So cool, dude. Seriously, seriously cool. So I read something right here. Okay, check this out. Check this out. Um, uh, hang on a minute here. I read something here that I read something here that Valen will turn on you at this point. Uh, where did I just read that? Something about Valen. Where did I read that? Hang on a minute. Uh... So there's actually a ton of ways that you can you can do that end, right? Like you can you can force the knower of names to tell you the re to tell you Mephistopheles' real name. And then you don't have to fight him at the end. There's just dialogue, I guess. A new legend is born. Sores. Sores. Dude, thank you for the six months, man. Hey. Get in here, man. Get yourself one of those delicious shields off the back wall right there. Now, you are protected. Tier three. Throw your coins up on the counter on the way out though, man. This ain't free, dude. You think it. How have you been, man? Welcome back. Wow, dude. Well, that was about, uh, when did we begin the Neverwinter Nights journey? When did we begin? It wasn't three weeks ago, but it was at least, it was like two and a half weeks ago. Something like that, like midway through January, I think we be we began this, right? Wait, that's not true! <gasps> We've been playing Neverwinter Nights for like three weeks, dude. Wow, man. We played, we started the original Neverwinter campaign. And that, holy crap, because we started it on the 8th, we started Neverwinter Nights on the 8th. Epic dude. What a journey man, has Von Hammerhands from level 1 to level 27, 28? Dude, how do you get to level 40 in this game? How do you get to level 40? Like, play through again with the same character, like, over and over? Like, just import the same character from the start? How do you do this? And can you imagine, 
Can you imagine playing through this? Like, seriously. Can you imagine playing through this game again? With higher levels of power? Like, with another, like, 12, 13 levels of power? Can you imagine Has von Hammerhands at level 40? Come on. You know. Welcome back. Hello. How are you? Two playthroughs. Are you sure, man? It seems like it would take like three, four playthroughs. You'll have to for that sweet, sweet platinum. I know. The good thing is, though, is, is that if you did want to play through this again, you could just skip all the dialogue. Just run to exactly what you need to, you know, go to wherever you needed to go exactly. And just push on and just, like, reap all the rewards, right? The only thing that I can think of is that no... No enemies are going to give you any EXP, right? Because the higher level you are... I'm going to be, like, fighting Mephistopheles at the end, and I'm going to get, like, 22 experience for killing Mep Mephistopheles. What the hell is that? Huh? Kind of hungover, but not as bad as I was thinking it was going to be. That's good, man. Get a bunch of water in, right? Well, 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 well. Well, we did it, man. One thing that I am going to do is... Uh, I'm going to load this one right here. I'll load this one right here and I'm going to... Uh, Save character. Yeah, I'm level 27. I made it to 371,482 EXP. That's from the beginning of Neverwinter, through Shadows of the Undertide, all the way through Hordes of the Underdark. And as far as I know, we didn't skip, we didn't dodge anything, we, we pretty much got most of the things done. I think we lost, I think we missed out on a couple of quests much, much earlier on, but that was so early in the game, I was probably took getting like 100 EXP or like 150 EXP for doing a quest kind of thing. Um, but damn, have a look at those stats, dude. Strength 35, Dexterity 18, Constitution 24. What an absolute animal. What's next? What are we going to play now, dude? What are we going to play now? Can you import this character into Neverwinter Nights 2? I don't know. I mean, obviously I can't... Um, obviously I can't do this because Neverwinter Nights 2 is not on the PS4, right? So I can't actually... I would have to create a brand new character, Neverwinter Nights 2... Hazen Von Hammerhands. Right? So I think that's what we're going to do. When we play Neverwinter Nights 2, we'll start a new character. It's going to be Haz Von Hammerhands. Star Ocean Grandia. Mario RPG. Stop. We've reached unimaginable heights. All right. I mean, we did it, man. We did it. Let's just chill here for a second. We did it, man. We nailed it. We beat it. That's the end of Neverwinter Nights. We got the job done, right? What game are we going to play next? Huh? Let's get a poll up here. Um, 
let's see what you guys think. I will take your recommendation under advisement. Right, we got, these are our options. I'm gonna make it real hard for you guys. Copy the PS4 save to PC and crack it to work on Neverwinter Nights 2 somehow. <laughs> um, I'm thinking of one more. I've got a lot. I have a lot of games to play, man. Honestly. Um, Every time I hear this music, I just want to get back to the boys. There we go. There is actually more games, but uh, I, I can't really fit them all on the poll. Cast your votes at the top of the chat. Monster Hunter Marathon, Cal Morgan. I think Mon even to date, Monster Hunter is probably the series that I've spent the most hours in. Play AI Dungeon. Wait, what's that, Stardust? I don't know what any of these are about. Oh my god. Ooh, Octopath Traveler. Ooh. A PC Iceborne is a week away. It's a text thing where you enter prompts and an AI fills out what happens next. Huh? It's a meme right now on Twitch. Really? I might have to have a wee look see into that. You torture us with these choices. I'm sorry. I mean, just be, we're going to see who wins, right? We're going to see what wins, but it doesn't mean I'm going to play it. I just, I'm really interested to see what, what you guys are, are choosing here. No one wants to play Grandia. No one wants me to finish Grandia. Interesting. The Baldur's Gate representing... The Baldur's Gate and the Octopath, huh? Hmm. Well, when you give us all these nice choices, write in vote, Mar dude. If I put Mario RPG up on that list, it would have won. I know, you, you can't trick me, man, right? Vote Grandia. I don't know what to vote for. Baldur's Gate 2. Interesting, man. Start over Final Fantasy Marathon. Don't even tempt me with that, right? Don't even, don't even tempt me with that. You, did you know it took like five and a half months for us to get through last time? Five and a half months to go from seven to 15. Solid. I'm in. <laughs> five months. And, and by the way, during that time, I took one day off. 
one day in that time. Playing Final Fantasy 7 all the way through to 15, man. One day off. Man, Baldur's Gate 2 won. Dude. Some Baldur's Gate representing, huh? And Octopath as well. Very interesting, man. Break out that Moogle suit, man. Let's go. You guys really want to see Baldur's Gate 2, huh? Interesting. Interesting. Just speed run all the games and be done in three months. It'd probably take me three months to learn a single speed run for one of those games. <laughs> Oh, man. I didn't put Neverwinter Nights 2 on that list. What would it have looked like if I had put Neverwinter Nights 2 on that list? How many of you guys would have been like, No! Let's continue the Has Von Hammerhand's journey. I would have voted Neverwinter... Neverwinter Nights 2 is a whole other game, man. Gotta remember it came out like years and years later. Right, graphical, complete graphical overhaul. It looks completely different. It's actually, it's not like crazy upvote, right? It's not like like a huge difference, but it's significant. It's significant enough to just go, whoa, okay. Totally different game now. You would have done Neverwinter Nights too? I can think, I mean, hey, listen. I've heard the expansion to Neverwinter Nights 2 has some very cool gameplay mechanics. Which one? Which expansion? There's a couple, yeah? Um, give me a second here. Let me have a look here. What's it called? Storm of Z here? See how good my, my memory is. Look at this. A never winter of the nights. Never winter of the nights. Storm of Zaheer. Totally different game, dude. It's not even that we're not even talking about the same thing here. Look at that crispy manual. Look at that. See the highlights glinting. Look at the highlights glinting off that embossed text. Man, come on. This book has only been opened like three times. I'm not, I'm just kidding. Uh, what's the what's the deal here? Let me let me just have a quick let me have a quick quick uh, read here. Uh... Okay, listen, listen, listen. Still, it is still 3.5, dude. It is D&D 3.5. The Storm of Deacon? <sighs> okay, let, let me let me break it down for you guys. So there's new races in Neverwinter Nights 2. Okay. Um, you can play as a Sun Elf, a Wood Elf, a Drow, a Gold Dwarf. You can play as a Durga, a Dark Dwarf. You can play as a Swerf Neblin, a Deep Gnome. You can play as a tiefling, you can play as an Azimar, and you can play as a strong heart halfling. You can be Tommy, basically. There are new prestige classes. 
you can become an arcane trickster, a duelist, an eldritch knight, a frenzied berserker, a shadow thief of arm, or a war priest. In Neverwinter Nights, you could have one companion. The Hordes of the Underdark expansion added another. In Neverwinter Nights 2, you can have a four-person party. Ooh. They've overhauled the item crafting system. Um... One of the great features of Neverwinter Nights was the detailed and intriguing relationships you could develop with your companions. In Neverwinter Nights 2, we've expanded this feature even further. How you act within the game and how you behave towards your companions will affect their loyalty towards you and how the story unfolds. Would... In Neverwinter Nights 2, would, has, would Hammer Hands be the same class or would you experiment with other choices? That's a really interesting thing, dude. That sounds like a lot of save scumming. <laughs> I don't think that they... I think that they probably took that out, man. They probably took that out, dude. For sure. Let me have a quick look here. I'm just, I'm just, I'm just, right. Oh man, dude, this is a completely different game. Completely different game, dude. You can become, you can be... So you can be human, you can be plain touched, an Azimar, a tiefling, you can become a moon elf, a dark drow, a sun elf, wood elf, dwarf, a shield dwarf, a gold dwarf, a grey dwarf. You could be a rock gnome, a deep gnome. You could be a light foot halfling or a strong foot halfling. Half elf, half orc. You can be... Uh, let's see. Okay, you can be a barbarian, a bard, a cleric, a druid, a fighter, a monk, a paladin, a ranger, a rogue, a sorcerer, a warlock, a wizard, prestige class, of course, arcane archer, arcane trickster, assassin, blackguard, Neverwinter Nights, evil playthrough. Has von Hammerhands has fallen from grace. He is now a dual bastard sword wielding blackguard weapon master. The complete inverse. <laughs> he's back and he's ready to destroy the world. An eldritch knight, a frenzied berserker, harper agent, a pale master. Like what happened to Arabeth? A red dragon disciple, shadow thief of arms, shadow dancer, a war priest, a weapon master. I mean, weapon master is just so cool though. You know what I'm saying, dude? It's so cool, dude. You went with swords. Now you must be a master of the bow and arrow. We, when we played through um, Baldur's Gate, we, we played as a ranger. Magic time. Oh, man. What's the level cap in Neverwinter Nights? Now, see, if we played through Neverwinter Nights, I'd have to rebuy the game on GOG. I'd have to get all the DLC... We'd have to get literally everything, man. Listen, listen. Look, you guys want to see what the characters look like? I can check this out. Hang on a minute. You guys, 
Like, look at the art. It's like, it's so different. Like the character model. This is this is a 3D model in the game. This is 3D. Like they actually look like things now. You know what I'm saying? Like it's an upgrade, man. It's pretty badass, dude. I gotta admit, this is I'm pretty excited to play this game now. Kazzy, hello, welcome. I hope you had a good New Year's and Christmas. You and Highberry. Uh, where's the thing? I, I tried Neverwinter Nights 2 again recently and it was kind of jarring. Let's start then. Ooh. <laughs> Trust me, we're thinking about it. Okay, check this out. Listen, let me throw up another poll here. Baldur's Gate 2 and Neverwinter Nights 2. Here we go. Legend is born. Ooh. Hi, Mary. Hi, Mary. Hi, Mary. Hi, Mary. Hi, Mary. Hi, Mary. Legend. Thank you, man. Thank you for the tier one. Three months, dude. Happy 2020 to you as well. Wow, dude. Never winter of the nights too. I gotta admit, I'm pretty, I'm pretty amped to play too, man. Um, what's it? You guys said it's uh, it's for sale on GOG right now. Let me have a look. Neverwinter of the Nights 2. Neverwinter Nights 2 complete. Fourteen bucks? Mask of the Betrayer, Storm of Zaheer, and Mysteries of Westgate. Never yeah, Nights 2 blew everything out of the water. I think it's because we were just talking about it, right? I think that's why everybody's just like, dude. How much was Neverwinter Nights for the PS4? Too much. It's full price, man. It's full price. Um, and it was it was very buggy. It was a very buggy experience. Um, I tell you what though, listen. There's a dude who is probably not in this in this stream right now. JP. JP made this all possible for us. Okay. I would not have been able to play this game and start the Neverwinter Nights journey because the game is not for release in New Zealand and it's not going to be released in New Zealand. So I would not have been able to play it and we would not have been able to enjoy the game. 
at all if it wasn't for JP. Um, so shout outs to JP. I know he's uh, he's catching some Zeds right now probably, but uh, I'm still playing. I'm still playing the game, and we're still we, we wouldn't have been able to start on the eighth of of December uh, without him. So he made this possible. He purchased the game and allowed me to um, play it via his account. So that's what I'm doing right here. All legal, right? It's it's actually encouraged by Sony to do that. Have your buddies like buy games, and then you can play play games, like play their library and stuff like that. So that's what I'm doing right now. Um, until Subin sent me a physical copy of the game for Christmas. So I do have a physical copy of the game now, but still. Damn, dude. So there we go. Neverwinter Nights 2 won by a long shot. Uh, it's still full price, man. It's a very expensive game. What I would do is I would wait. I would wait. Like, I think I'm going to make a retrospective video on the YouTube channel about the experience of playing through this game on a PS4. And I think even though it was awesome and it was a lot of fun and it was a really cool game to play. Um, I think the biggest thing was is that it crashed a lot, man. The main game was kind of pretty solid, but the DLCs were buggy, man. And one of the one time it deleted our save game as well which was real bad um and if we if we were being dumb dumb right and we were only saving on one save if we were playing through on one save gone can you imagine that gone mikey what's up dude happy 2020 man happy 2020 dude Gotta do those cloud backups, man. But just think about it, man. Imagine losing your only save game, dude. We had at least 20, I would say, total blue screens throughout that. It was a lot, man. It was a lot. That's not including the forced ones that we found, like the actual bugs that we found. So, yeah, it was a lot. It was a lot, a lot, a lot. Time to wake up at 6 a.m. tomorrow to catch Devil Winter Nights 2. And then I surprise you guys all tomorrow, right? The switch is plugged in. And we start off playing. I don't know. <laughs> Mario RPG. Hopefully, Devil Winter Nights 2 isn't too buggy. Yeah, dude. Who knows? Who knows? And you guys will be like, what the hell? How on earth? How on earth? Is he playing Super Mario RPG? And I'll be like, I put up a donation goal. It was like 10,000 US dollars. For 10,000 US dollars, I'll play Super Mario RPG. And then you just see me playing it and you're like, looking around in the chat, right? You're like, which one are you mother? Paid for this. Huh? <laughs> you'll never know. I'll just start playing it casually and you'll be like, How? How did this happen? Someone purchased it. Damn it. Um. Atelia. Atelia Iris is a great game. These are this is a great series of games, man. Did you ever play this? It's like 1, 2, and 3 right here. It's just rough. It took an hour to get used to. Oh, yeah, dude. And I'll be playing on, like, PC. So I'm going to be just, like, like, keyboard and mouse gaming again, dude. What kind of amateur plays a games on a, on a PC? You know what I'm saying? What kind of amateur does that? I mean... Nah, I, you would not want to, man. You would not want to, dude. 
I think as as the as the games kind of progressed, it became more and more complicated. It would be really difficult to play, um, really difficult to play Neverwinter Nights two on a controller. I mean. If you're a basic fighter, then it's probably not going to be too bad, but... Oh, there's a lot going on, dude. Oh. Well. Ladies and gentlemen, for the first stream of 2020. What a success, man. We beat Neverwinter Nights. The saga of Has Von Hammer Hands and Neverwinter Nights 1 is over. But we'll see what happens tomorrow. Maybe we will be playing Neverwinter Nights 2 and we will be rolling a brand new Has Von Hammer Hands adventure. Maybe. Anyway, you guys, thank you for hanging out, man. I appreciate it. Hope you guys have a good new year. Enjoy the rest of your New Year's Day, right? Or New Year's Night, wherever you are. I will see you guys tomorrow. That's right. Whew. Call me Q. Thank you for hanging out all night, man. Appreciate that. Always exciting when new people find their way to the stream and hang out. Bye-bye.